all right that said let's talk about rebirth and all that good stuff so here's the game plan we're gonna rebirth we're gonna do the summer method as we call it these days it's really just you know it's been around for a while but we'll call it like that just for the fun of it put away all the arrows except the holy arrows you gotta be below a certain weight you have to be below 500 weight to the next part of the process so go ahead and put away all heavy potions and whatnot now you guys remember oh yeah before you do anything don't forget to change your portal because you're going to be grabbing some zenny from your uh you know little mini bank quote unquote bank Set the work for Ant Hal. Save yourself some time. You don't have to walk. Oh, yeah, you can't use those fly wings anymore, the beginner's fly wings, but the ones you got from the start where you open up the booster boxes, you can use. Actually, there's two things you gotta do. What? One, you're gonna buy elements. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna buy HP increased potions. So go ahead, grab the Zen you had in the mail. That's in it we made earlier. Remember that? That good stuff? Yeah. Oh, one million zenny, baby. Yeah, that. So you're gonna go ahead and type HP increase and search partial. And you're gonna find HP increase portion large, which I don't know why they would charge 50Ks any for that. Please just keep it in the 10Ks. You're gonna buy five of these. Teleport up and out. And we're gonna be going to the top left of the map. Top left of Prantera. Now, the condition for this is Rebirth, Manager, or Valkyrie in the, uh, you know, the old map. You have to have less than 500 weight. So go ahead by yourself. Six great mercenary. Higher mercenary. Six great mercenary. Yes. Six great mercenary. Now, I can't guarantee you that Antel will always be empty in the, in the entrance. If there's a lot of people in the entrance, it's okay. Just teleport around. You'll manage. Five or six mercenaries should do. Be sure to not die. Very important to teleport away every time. And we'll buy some blue potions. Mercenary blue potion. We're going to buy 15 of them. We're a little bit over the weight, but it's fine. We'll use the concentration potion. Hmm, okay, well. I don't know what else I can drop to make the weight, so. Use storage. We're gonna drop the berserk potions here, and we should have enough weight. 465, perfect. So now, with HP increase potion on you, and five mercenary scrolls at least, six great spear mercenary. Do you have the uh, lock on? There's a little lock right here. If you have your equipment window out, you cannot drop anything. Please move your equipment to the inventory and close the equipment window. Yeah. All right, cool. So HP increase potion large, Spearman scroll, lot of uh, fly wings, beginner fly wings. So you're going to go ahead and talk to your manager. Oh yeah, you have to use super skill points, by the way. And then you talk to him, blah, blah, blah. Wait, three hours? What, what do you mean three hours? Having to wait over three hours just to prove you're worthy and not... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Change my job. Do, 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 do. Now, you have 80 HP. With the adventurer sets, you have... 
545 and 195. Remember, without the sets, even though you have 80, 80 and 25, remember the 30 HP and 10 SP come from this. So keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to re-equip everything. Well, the stuff that we can equip. You know, use your HP increase potion large just to look what it does. Look what it does. 5,045, 545 to 3,048. Look at that. That's a lot of HP. Now, you're going to be using some potions. Uh, just one miracle, elixir thing, whatever. Don't die. Do yourself a favor. Don't die. Go back to the eating group. Go to Antel. Because remember, you are in a party, party of one. Oh, uh, there is somebody kind of here. And if you have the mercenary AI that you have in the uh, Simber Discord, you'll be able to get yourself up to drop level 10 in no time. I right, got job level 10. Let's get out of here. So the job change is going to take place in the original job change location for the first class. Now, each class has its own location. Acolytes in Prontera at the church. Merchants in Alberta at the Merchant's Guild. Swordsmen in Islut in the Islut Academy. Uh, not Islut Academy. In the uh, Islut Guild. Uh, Swordsman Guild. Thieves will job change at the Thief Guild inside the Mora Pyramids in the first floor. Like, not first floor. You go to the center and there's going to be one little um, hallway hideout for them. And then Archer will be in Payon and then Mage will be in Geffen. I think that's six, right? Let's see, six, six different classes. Aqua Prontera, Archer, Payon, Thief, Morak, Swordman, this dude, Mage, Geffen. Archer Payon, Archer Payon, Mage Geffen, and then we have the Merchant Alberta, Thief in Morak Pyramids, and then Acolyte Prontera, and then Swordman in the Guild. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the job change happens over here, by the way. Let's read the sign. Icarus. I don't know who Icarus is. So you go over here, you talk to Archer Guildsman. Hey, yeah, I know you came back to be an Archer again. All right, see you later. For, learn your basic skills. Learn how to sit. You can't even sit. Ah, oh, finally, what happened? What'd you do? How you fix it? Last fish. All right, so you're gonna be here all the way to level 13. Yeah, fish, yeah. So what happens here is when a lot, when the ant eggs are not destroyed, the ant eggs spawn into uh, the ants. So the ant eggs give more EXP. Oh yeah, you have to wear every time you job change, you have to re-equip your stuff all over again. So every time the ant eggs are not destroyed, uh, they spawn into ants, and if the ants are not killed, they will not uh, be respawning the uh, the eggs. So you can also if you if you're in the server this where you can get access to the ai or you can do control and r go to skill grab the brandish hotkey it and just put brandish spear wherever you want to hit it and there you go like for example over here all the ants spawned because nobody was taking care of them 
so now we gotta go around killing all of the ants so we can get ourselves back to the ant eggs once again and for all we know some of the ants could have walked out they could have walked out somewhere else look ants spawn maybe it's just coincidence maybe somebody destroyed the, the stack of ant eggs who knows if i want to sell some things up to create a specific character what do you mean like if you if you want to sell stuff with a merchant to already charge a discount yes if you want to sell things in the market by vending <clears throat> you can do a quest to get offline vending you don't necessarily have to have a character uh, like a merchant merchant can sell it but you have to be online with an offline vending merchant online offline voucher you can just uh, sell without having to be online it makes a copy of a character and your character just uh sell you know a copy quote unquote copy of a character uh, just sells the stuff for you I have to create a character, right? I can't do it with my main. What do you mean you can't do it with your main? There's this, there's a thing called offline vending voucher. It allows you to sell like three, three, five, seven. I don't know how many items they let you sell. Let me go get the information for you. So there's an offline voucher you can get. If you want to sell more than five things, I guess you have to, you know, make a merchant. But, you know, you can also just get the offline voucher and sell stuff like that without having to, you know, make a merchant. The merchant will have overcharge and discount for sure. But the merchant has to be online to sell stuff. You sit it there and it just sells stuff online. The offline voucher, you don't have to have the character online. It makes a copy of your character with whatever items you have on the inventory. And then it just, you know, you set up a shop the same way you do with a merchant and it starts selling. So effectively, you can just do that without having to make a merchant. If you want to make a merchant for overcharge and discount and other stuff like that, then you can go ahead and do that. That also works really well. we are going to be finding the same idea but this time we're going to be going all in on dexterity because where we're going next we can actually pull off something very interesting at level 13 we get free xp to suffer any yeah you can set up an offline shop okay look the main difference is if you make a merchant you have to leave the merchant online if the merchant disconnects your shop goes away if you do the offline voucher, you can set up a copy of your character that even if the even if you disconnect or whatever, the, the copy of your character will remain there selling. So you don't have to worry about that. But that's what the offline voucher. Yeah, do the offline voucher. It's really, really good. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, but you have to make a, you have to close on the shop and you have to take the stuff in the mail and you have to reopen it. With merchant, you can just close the shop and reopen it right away. If you're going to sell materials, you got to sell stuff that counts because you know, if you're gonna, you can only have one offline buy shop per account. We're to level 150 Sierra. Uh, what kind of gear do you have? There's a couple of ants missing here. Quite a few ants are missing. I don't know what it could be. Maybe they're all the way out here, you know? Now we gotta go out and kill. Oh, level 100 booster here. Okay. Hmm. Where were you leveling earlier?
I think last is good all the way to 160. But then after that, you might have to start working on better equipment. Although I think you probably could go to a 17.2. To Charles Warehouse. But uh, that's the place a lot of people recommend. 17.2 maps seem to be pretty decent. Yeah, he has the, uh, the booster gear. So that might be a bit more difficult, I think. Because I remember when I was playing through, I think uh, my limit was the um, the senior dungeon. There's a lot of ants missing here. What, uh, the booster shadow gear, I don't know when to replace. The booster shadow gear stuff tends to, I mean, sorry, the shadow equipment part of the, uh, you know, equipment seems to be really expensive. It's usually the last thing you replace. Because, you know, it's just really good. So. Oh, chaos. Chaos, absolutely chaos. That's where everyone is at, and uh, well, for the most part, most of us are there. And every, all my guys revolve around, you know, chaos server, so you know. But there's more people here than, than in Thor. A lot of people, some people have moved from Thor over here because of that as well, from what I've seen, unless I misunderstood, but that's what I've seen for the most part, so. And I'm certain you can't go wrong with uh, Chaos of Reader, so... Yeah, Economy will do that, yep. Milky, shut up. <laughs> Freya, that's a bait right there. That's a bait. Don't do that, Milky. And I don't know if saying shut up was rude. So like saying get out of here for me, but I'm sorry if that was rude, but get out of here, Milky. I'll take the shut up back. Get out of here, Milky. That will do. <sighs> Milky's just joking. The RP server. What do you mean RP server? No, I know, but what, what do you mean by that? What makes it a roleplay server? The illusion, the illusion of Abyss is basically you just go to Alberta and you talk to the knight that is south by the docks. Nightmare Clock Tower, you have to go to the entrance to the second floor in the clock tower and you talk to the guy you pay him for 10,000 zenny to go into the uh into the nightmare version a rip server <laughs> yeah no no there's not there's not a whole lot of people in there they launched it like it launched about last year and well i mean I guess people didn't stick around for that one so yeah i really think chaos is just a better choice overall not because i'm there not because we're all there but just in general it seems like a better choice
like role play you mean like role play as in like people just go and hang out and play and because rope what's wait what's the difference between role play and casual Right, right, I get that. I get that. Okay. Gotcha. Hello. Oh, look at my HP. My HP is 1111. So once you're level 33 you're gonna be heading on over to alberta you're gonna be going to the sunken ship and that's we're gonna be leveling from here on forward all the way to second class we are gonna hold off on using the battle menu because we want to use it at the evil druids as well just to expedite our leveling process just a little bit more so you can just save here go to our, the sunken ship level up there that's dexterity plus 10 just add all your dexterity Let the mercenary do the work. And we go onwards. Here is where you're going to be using the HP increase potion large because without that, you're going to die, get destroyed. So, go ahead and use your life potions if you need to. So, the mercenary will do most of the work for you. And all you got to do is just uh, clean up if need be. And actually, you can probably kill yourself as well. You can just uh, use arrow shower. You can kill monsters yourself and uh, you'll be fine. Look at how you actually go. gotta be a room that is extremely overpacked with monsters i just know it we just haven't gotten there yet i think it's gonna be the one here in the middle the one off the side okay, it's not the one on the side it's gonna be the one in the middle for sure it's so nice when there's no afk levelers here or afk whatever is the the heck that he doing here I 
I can already imagine what the room looks like. It's gotta be this one right here. The one I'm highlighting right here. The cursor. little spots i just know it i guess we can work our way on over This room here better be extremely overpacked with monsters. This room right here has to be super extremely overpacked. Eh, it's not as overpacked as I thought it would be. But I think I full out of that. And the mercenary goes away too. No, you cannot do that. You can't use that. To go to Komodo, you go from uh, Prontera to Komodo. Go to one of the cafes in Prontera and then she can teleport you to Komodo. We have easy anti cheats, so I think that's going to kind of block those kind of things. So. Because it's a uh, third party program, you can't use those things. <sighs> I just got here, Zerus. I just got here. Yeah, as long as you have less than 25,000 Zenny, because you have more than 25,000 Zenny, it's going to use up your Zenny. I mean, yeah, it, it sucks, but from what I know, you can't use the auto pots and stuff. That's, uh,. I guess th third party programs aren't allowed as per the rules, so. Guidelines and rules. Use of auto potion is prohibited. Whoa, but I guess. Exploring mechanics, back injection, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but th those are private servers. This is official. It's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a very different thing, my dude. As long as it doesn't automate the gameplay, that's the thing that they're looking after. What am I doing here? Uh, let's just let's not go deeper than what the thing that being addressed is. Just uh, let's not, guys, guys, listen. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff here. We just want to make it clear that there's a distinction between the usage of things that are allowed in other servers as to the official server 
I posted the rules and guidelines that are, you know, the ones that are set for IRL. And that's kind of what we have. Yeah. So, and this is kind of why I don't allow to bring up those kinds of topics. And then, you know, there's all these other things that come up. So, but, um, what are we getting at? As long as you don't automate gameplay, that's all they care about. That is the main thing. As long as you don't automate gameplay, that's all they care about. But auto pots are not allowed. They said not allowed in WoW. But I don't know. Would that mean PV PVM as well? But that's a whole nother story. But then again, third party programs and those kinds of things are blocked by EC anti cheats. So. And you're not supposed to. No, technically, you're not supposed to bypass EC anti cheat. I believe that macros that do not automate gameplay are fine. I think that's what the rule stated. As long as you don't automate gameplay. I mean, re read the rules, guys. It's like, it's right there. It's, 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 it's hard for me to just like try to interpret them without reading them. I've said this before in the past. That's why I say it like that, because I've interpreted them before. So as long as you don't automate gameplay, it's fine. What's going to happen is that if you are suspect of automating gameplay, they're going to come say, Hey, what's up? How's it going? And you have to respond. If you don't respond and I think, Oh yeah, this person's automating gameplay, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of how it goes. Does, does EC have rules for IRO? Because if not, what do you mean does EC have rules? If you run a if you run an emulator for a phone game on your computer, EC anti cheat will stop you from uh, launching the game. It just blocks the uh, third party programs or emulators and that kind of stuff. So. There's some programs that it just detects as, you know, quote unquote, you know, software that it doesn't allow, but I don't know what specific rules would be. people buying those I, I know people do buy the elemental stones people do buy oh was this the room people buy the materials for elements converters people buy other kinds of stuff as well uh, people buy Carver Dioneros, people buy materials for Genetesis creations, people buy materials for Rune Knight creation, like Rune Knight Mastery, uh, Rune Mastery for Rune Knights. I don't think Bear's Footskins really sell unless there's a reason why you would think they would sell. Is there a demand for that in the market or am I missing something or, or is that just a wild guess? Oh yeah, you saw that? Very nice, very nice. 10 million zenny, how long did it take you? Good in an instance. What are the, okay, hold on a second. It wasn't a guess, just looked up at a video a YouTuber said. Uh, can you send me the video via Twitch DM if that's okay with you? What are the best class for a complete beginner that never played IRL? I think Knight is a really good character, which we have a full VOD for. Really easy to play, really easy to get into. You just click on my name and you just uh 
whisper. I'm just curious about the uh, the video say about the uh, bear's foot skin because I think it probably is referencing the episode 17.1. Uh, My name is Morning. But that's the only thing I can really come up with that might be. Yeah, night is really easy because night is really easy to get into. You learn to take a hit. Which is actually quite favorable because a lot of people... No, it's not. This is literally the guide to level up a knight and into rune knight level 99. Yeah. Anything market related? Uh, just pick up all the items and then you can check with the shopping board. Siva, check out won't play i'll probably check it out uh check it out probably won't play because it takes me too long what do you mean it takes way too long to level up everything everything i do i leveled up my character to 99 in less than 10 hours i mean yeah sure it's i but it's iro i mean it's iro of all places you know the notorious iro the impossible to play unless you swipe your credit card iro Wahahaha. You know what I mean? But it, hey, you know, if the pace isn't something that you are looking for in the server, that is perfectly fine. I actually think this is kind of fast, to be honest. I mean, anything faster would just like, you know, be surprised. But this is very, it's a very comfy pace, you know? It's, this is much easier than it's ever been before, to be honest with you. EXP, yeah, EXP requirements have gone down significantly. It's actually much easier than it was in the past. And I think that's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. Doing like that, my guy. Time investment, like putting time into doing something, or because no, man, these things take way too long. Doing boring things for the sake of doing them isn't really my thing. Okay. I mean, to each wrong. Ah, wait, hold on a second. But just, just to clarify, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh yeah, because MMORPG. I don't think MMORPGs have really respected anyone's time. I, I think it's been worse. Like we used to have instances and other junk that you know were daily, right? And to to farm some material. You would have to wait one whole day before you can run the instance again. Nowadays, you don't even have to run those instances. You can make do without them. But man, but man, it's a, it's a hassle. Yeah. I quit while because of that. Okay, I see. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you right now, just so you know, Knights does level up fast, but level 91 to 96 will probably take uh, maybe two hours or less than an hour, I think. Yeah, on night. On other classes, it takes many, many, and I mean many, many, and I mean many, many, and I mean really, really, I do mean many, many hours. Because I leveled up all characters. I've been leveling up almost all the characters from the, you know, all the classes. 
and man 96 to 99 on certain classes is a huge pain why though what why did i level them Why are you leveling all those classes? So let me do this one. So, so I'm streaming, right? And 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 I hope none of this sounds condescending or anything. I try to. I like to explain things from the bottom up because I don't know if everyone sees things the same way I do. So, because we don't, not, not everyone sees eye to eye, right? Like the way you play our, the way I play our time investment, that kind of stuff. We see differently, right? Very respected. It's, it's as it is, right? So I level up our classes because for me, Twitch is entertainment and RO is a game that I can be genuine with and I can do these things to make it entertaining and actually have fun doing so, not making it like such a tedious chore, for example. And when it comes to RO, I'm very well versed in the game and I've shown, how to, I've shown people how to level up multiple characters over the course of the past year, few years. And now I've been leveling them up because we have the booster event, which gives us three resets and it makes life a lot easier now back to the main points leveling them up because they're technically guides for people who come in for example you came in and you wanted to you wanted a guide a noob uh what do you what do you say exactly get your exact words uh what was it called noob slash beginner where can i find builds since new beginner guides yeah so exactly so people will come by from other places people will come by from other places that want to pick up a character they want to play iro and i have a guide for any character that they want to play I explain do the nuances to them, the differences between each class, what makes one easier, what makes one harder, and thus providing the viewer with something of interest, something of value for them to watch the streams, for them to watch the VODs, and you know, eventually, you know, just enjoy the content that I produce. Right? So that's why I do it. And I still have to edit all this stuff, by the way. So don't think I'm already started. I'm gonna have to this is just a part one of all this. But it's working for a lot of people. Fair enough. Yes. Second of all. What makes my main is Dragon Birth Three Nights, and I have 15 Dragon Birth Three Nights in one account with, uh, I guess, the best possible gear I can get on them. Keep in mind, I've been here on IRO since like what 2017. No, no, you don't have to go to do that. You, you can go to Bathory in the kitchen. Go to the kitchen in the eating group and talk to the Bathory. Put your cursor down a little bit below her and you can click on her and she'll take you to uh, Niflheim. Uh, what makes night easier? What makes night easier is the fact that their bowling bash is... Bowling bash is a nice 5x5 AoE. I think it's 5x5, right? And it has 500% attack damage. But if you have four monsters on top of you, use bowling bash on them in that aoe range you hit the you hit four times instead of twice so bowling bash effectively does in a way two thousand percent attack damage so you make a mob of four to six monsters you bowling bash you're dealing all that much more damage 500 percent attack damage times four so you can go into magma dungeon so this is all of this comes from doing all of these characters one to 99 multiple times so Uh, the best leveling spots are met for level 91 to 99. Out plus V. Out plus V, you show up your window, shows you your city. So I leveled up all these characters, right? 91 to 99 is tedious because the EXP table, the EXP uh, increases, the requirement increases, right? So Knights can go to Magma Dungeon level 2, which is probably the best EXP you can get in that level range, 91 to 99. It gets more tedious between 96 to 99, but that's another story and other classes maybe meteor assaults uh assassin cross focus earth strike sniper can handle it with ease maybe with a fan clip uh, magnus exorcism is high priest and priest can actually do magma dungeon 2 but that's kind of difficult for them other classes cannot do magma dungeon level 2 and they have to rely on leveling a dark priest which is the next best leveling map so the next best after dark priest is ruin which is kind of actually not that great it's so 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 knight has the advantage of dealing that much damage on aoe on all these monsters four times 500 percent two thousand percent damage attack effectively at magma dungeon 
and the best part is that when you fly wing when you tap the fly wing after teleporting out there is a good chance that some damage will not register because with ro when you teleport when you take damage it nullifies it doesn't give you the uh doesn't register the damage but status effects do register so knight can go at level 92 into magma dungeon level 2 and can obliterate almost everything teleport obliterate teleport obliterate teleport rinse and repeat before then they can level up at heartbeats at, from level 68 all the way to level 92 with much ease because there's a lot of heartbeats in the map so super high mob density and again bowling bash five by five 200 20, 000. attack damage times four you use one green potion bowling bash boom to pick up your loot keep repeat rinse and pee, re, nah, rinse and repeat before then you go level up at orcs and then you go to uh this map with drillers and mantis and sidewinders and you get to level 68 from level 60 from there and yeah just like that it makes it really really easy and that is exactly why it's actually easier magmaring is a thing but it's just if you're if your character can handle dark priest it's better for the dark priest uh bounty board it's just much better exp but i did go to uh magmarine on wizard and it did take a while but i mean that was bound to happen so that is why knights is the easier class because it's just much much stronger that is what makes it faster for leveling i hope that our response was satisfactory because that's literally the best response i can give you with an actual you know input and analysis of why You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I think. Okay, so yeah, I think that's a good strategy because look, I leveled up other characters. Let me tell you the time ranges it took. On 200 percent EXP, a scholar, rebirth scholar, high novice scholar, 9970 took about 17 hours of stream, which is maybe about 15 hours of uh, just uh, raw leveling, right? Bounty boards included. Oh, I forgot to use my HP increase potion. No. Anyways. But I'm already job 50 anyway, so what the heck? Let's go. Back to Prontera. So you probably should because it does take a long time to level up some characters. Alchemist, above all, takes so long. I really recommend if you have a 9970 Lord Knight, you can probably leech a lot of your characters for just raw EXP at Gram's low TI. That is probably the best option. I'm not even kidding. I leveled them up so you don't have to. And let me tell you. Soul Linker. Scholar? Mm -mm, not fun. An Alchemist. Oh, Alchemist is going to be worse. Assassin. Assassin is a great choice. Assassin can actually level up with East the assassin face and the uh assassin cross face ah uh, okay yeah i saw the uh i saw the link that you sent me um chusano no that's uh that that's pure renewal stuff that's pure renewal it's not re ragnarok renewal So, you know, I recommend probably looking at the market and maybe, maybe how about this? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'll post the links that I know I, at the top of my head. So you want to look at materials for farming. I'll send them to you here. Booster, it's booster, booster. So the thing is, some people don't buy these items directly from the buyer. They just set up a buy shop. It's not very likely that, you know, they'll be buying them. So that's a bit of a bit of a hassle there. You can check the shopping boards for people who are buying these materials and maybe sell them. 
so I haven't updated that one I haven't updated that I need to update that one. Oh, the sponsored link yeah I need to get rid of that hold on a second I got rid of it, right? Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I deleted that one. Whew. Oh, use another browser. Use another browser. Oh, I posted all the commands, but uh, yeah, I need to edit the uh, the commands thing. There we go. Updated. Actually, hold on, I need to erase one. There we go. So now that you drop 50, you're gonna be changing to whatever it is that they call it on here on uh, on IRO. You know, rebirth uh, second class part, I guess. So you use up your skill points, you can always reset, don't worry about it, it's all good. We're gonna go ahead we're gonna rush to 65 we're gonna do race and evil druids and at 71 to 85 we're gonna start using the battle manual buff and then we're gonna see through there thanks there is but i gotta do this on my on my own captain nixon hmm. hopefully we can get this done within the next i'm not mean you know how the series goes Still. Oh, I'm still the meanie. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take the wings away. Minstrel. Time to recover your glorious appearance and restore light to this era. Blah blah blah. Welcome new heroes. Yes. Now please sir, return to the world and lead it to everyone else in it. Yeah, please. Oh, please return to the world and lead it and everyone else in it. Like the very world. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to level 65. Or let's get to level 71 and then we're gonna use the battle manual buff. Alberta. Very, very fast. Very, very easy. Straightforward leveling. No problem. All right. Let's keep it up. We're almost there. We're almost there. I haven't had to use the mercenary blue potions. That kind of sucks. But we'll use some. We'll use some. No problem.
I guess I use the life potion. I can just use the oh, actually, add the uh, yellow potions. Silly me, silly me. Oh, that's a lot of EXP here. Watch. Oh, he has no SP. Oh man. What's the what's the maxed out priest doing here? Night, never mind. Care. See you tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow early before maintenance. So yeah, same time. But remember, tomorrow's maintenance day, and it goes on after that. So after maintenance, I won't be online. But I'll be on stream. Yeah, the survey just makes a difference. Chaos has more people in it. It's a different market. The other ones have less people in it, less of a market. Yeah, the reason why you can only do it with the rebirth characters is because you can only buy the six grade mercenary when you are uh in the level 65 and higher. So when you're level 99 before you rebirth, you can actually, you know, buy the mercenary scrolls and then when you rebirth at level 1, you'll have those things with you. I don't think you can i think it's one of those messages that come up in the uh bottom of the uh in the options here i think it's one of the options here you can remove oh yeah let's train the let's train this quest real quick give me one second i'll be right back what joke Oh, I, I haven't added it yet. I wasn't I wasn't sure about adding that one. I haven't I haven't added anything actually. I haven't changed anything on that end. I've been busy with IRL stuff. I'm trying to do this during the day. At night, I work on other stuff. So yeah. You know, more agility here. Hmm, interesting. I 
personal stuff. Almost level 65. Once we get to level 65, we're going to be switching gears. We're going to be moving into last time. And of course, we're going to make our life very easy with a battle manual, starting at level 71 to do the eating group leveling quest with it. Again, if you don't have the eating group leveling stuff, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just keep leveling at even yours and rates is the best you, you can get that level. Unless you can mob, then that's a different story, but you know what I'm getting at. Way too much XP. Once we hit level sixty four, we can turn in the eating group. I think group. We can turn in the bounty board. And then from there, we can just go off to the new location, 64. Uh, but let's grab the CXP here, why not? And the CXP over here. All right, let's go back to Geffen.
Uh, what do we do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Save. I'm gonna go grab our... Oh, crap. I forgot to train the quest. It's funny. All right. Let's go back to Alberta real quick. Just wasting wings. No, 65 with 50%. Great. And I think we have potions in the mail. And we still have Zenny for potions. And we need Zenny for potions. We can always make some Zenny. If you know, you know. And we can... Oh, we can't equip our, our eating group. Oh, yeah, we can equip it. Very nice. So let's go ahead and just spam Melody Strike for the time being. I think that'll get us... I mean, we could probably do that and magic strings, probably. We could probably just do magic strings first, honestly. And encore on the next one, and yeah. Easy enough as it is. And then tomorrow we should be done with the leveling, so. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta send myself Zinni and then. This is ridiculous. There we go. 700,000 Zenny sent in the mail. You pay a tax. Give us time. Look at that right at the entrance. And of course, if you're blinded, you can't hit, right? So bring green potions. Get your green potions. You'll need them. God, again. really go, gotta go back and get my uh, green potions I'm gonna go back and get him once I run out of SP so
All right, I'm blinded. I screw it. I'm out. Actually, I should pick up a butterfly wing before. And if they drop me a fuck, I'll just go back first. Oh, I didn't see you. Are you playing assassin or what? Oh, no, no, no. I, I can't take stuff from people. I got to get it myself. Don't worry. Oh, sorry. Going back to town anyways. Oh, wow, fifth assassin. Wow, that's a lot of assassins. Valkyrie shield or run buckler early on I mean if you're talking about cheap stuff that's the cheapest as it gets <clears throat> and later on Exelion shields I think are good uh someone's gonna give you the most expensive shield recommendation right now anyways I'm, I can almost see it And um, I think it's called Illusion. I think Illusion Shield is good. I think that's what it's called. Illusion Shield is pretty decent. Um, I don't know what the other ones are called. Striking Arm Guard is the newest one, I think. Isn't that really expensive, though? Feather Shield. Doesn't Feather Shield come from Akatra or is it from OCP? Feather Shield if you need the aftercast delay reduction. Uh, Exilion if you want the HP and the uh, and the attack, mainly the attack. Illusion Shield gives you uh, HP and Striking Arm Guard gives you a lot of uh, range attack and I think gives you the Xerity as well. I think if I'm not mistaken, somebody can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Striking mostly for HP. I thought Striking Arm Guard was. Uh, Let me look at it again. Refine to plus one or higher. Plus three. Max is two. Plus, wait, what? Oh, what the combo, right? No, it's not the combo, right? Oh, it says when refine to plus one or higher. Okay. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. That makes sense. Good thing I have like uh, got no some much uh, after Castle on my rune on my rune knights. Yeah, my rune knights. I can probably get away with uh, removing the shield. Maybe it might might be good actually. It might be good for the um, casting portion of it. But other than that, it's not really you know much for me. I gotta calculate my after cast delay and see how much I how much surplus I have. in four hours wow
kind of looks like it. I think I, I think I get what you're saying. We're almost there guys we're almost there we're gonna do the uh eating group leveling quest 71 to 85 with a battle manual buff we're gonna be turning in our quest and hopefully that'll get us um enough uh job exp base exp to get to where we need to be and tomorrow will hopefully be a short day and i'll be able to cover what needs to be covered right away yeah <clears throat> uh, wait you, you don't go to dark priest dark priest is the best map you can do for single target characters race and evil druids are level 70 and se se they're level 80 and level 77 mobs you're above them Yeah, Dark Priest is going to be the best EXP you can get here. There's no other monsters that you can kill that will give you more than Dark Priest does. With that mob density, I don't think so. And you can one-shot them too, I bet. Maybe Magmarines could be competitive, but... We are now level 70. I would hope we would be level 71, but we're now level 71. So we're gonna be going back to the eating eating group. We're gonna be going back to the eating group. I really need to get some butterfly wings. Alright, so we're gonna go. Um yeah, we're gonna go straight up into just leveling. It's gonna be we're gonna level up speed up the leveling process after after the first training we're gonna be 
um adding the battle manual buff that we get from the eating group when we start off and then tomorrow we'll use the other one to train in fourth quest and other stuff so i mean how much is the holy arrow quiver here so that's fine so that's not fine okay now hold on a second Yeah, I'll take it. So let's go ahead. Ooh, pick up the eating group. Leveling quest 725. Take all districts. Portal to Gefenia is now closed. Wow. Gefenia. So we're going to go talk to her. Yes, yes, yes. Pick up the quest. And we're going to go back. Let's see how fast we level up with a battle menu buff at this uh, EXP train. Because we do get quite a bit of EXP from this, uh, this NPC. So it might be worth using the battle menu here instead of the other location. Yeah, silver arrow 500 of them 2500 yeah it was cheaper to buy the quiver but i'm not here for uh cheaper or not i'm here to just uh, get the job done so remember tomorrow 7 30 a.m eastern we're going to be doing this again you have to do the episode 17.1 uh illusion and then you have to get the materials for it. Which is the currency from 17.1 to be able to buy the uh, stuff. Yeah, 17.1, which they have to 16.2 and 16.1. So it's episode 16.1 16.2 17.1 and then you can start buying those gears all right i'm gonna go ahead grab this real quick take all district missions i'm gonna turn this do this turn this in go back to the grow We're gonna speed it up here so from here on forward we're gonna just go full blast we'll speed forward ahead if i don't respond right away in a timely manner it's because i'm running on the battle manual buff and yes yeah royal banquet and terra gloria that is correct my goal is to get 86 and be able to train the eating group leveling quest with that I think I took two hits. I think I took two hits right there. That was pretty gnarly. Pretty nasty, actually, but what am I going to do about it? I'm going to have to take my Zenny back. I'm going to have to use the uh, healer. I think with the last, um, what is it? What do you call it? Oh, yeah.
I wonder how much damage I do with this. That's 600% attack damage, which is more. Uh, it's almost probably gonna be like 5,000 something. Maybe level six with one shot. So. I don't know what the cooldown is, but uh, we'll see. Hey, Vivid Dork, welcome back. So we're gonna see how far we get with the uh, with the battle manual buff once we start training these quests in. And hopefully we get to level 86 or so, we can start training in the Eden Group leveling quest as well to get our job EXP. We'll probably leave the last five minutes for that. As long as we get to 85 we should be good as long as we find evil druids and rates in this map we should be good because i'm not seeing any right now oh there we are i think the higher the level the faster the cast right start using the battle manual buff and see how much exp we get from these quests it'll be good we're gonna use our you know elixirs and whatnot just for the sake of uh you know go fast 30 minutes why not so pop the battle manual and off we go oh yeah that's very close to another level Should probably use the Agi up as well. So now we're gonna be going back and forth and we're doing the quest in the min, get the EXP, go back and forth, just like that. Select all take all district missions, and you're gonna be given the Ancelia's request. The quest checks if you have the Ancelia stuff. Battle menu boost quest EXP, yes, bounty boards, quests, monster EXP, yeah, all that. You're almost telling me the musical strike is just good. Uh, yes, it has feed auto feed for certain pets. I think there's some pets that don't have uh, the auto feed. Kelly cat doesn't heal anymore. Wait, does this wait? Does the Kelly wait, guys? 
Does the Skelly Cat still heal or is that just a Skelly? I don't think the beta pet has auto feed yet, no. I feel I would have heard about it then. Oh, no heals now. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's right there. Whoops. And I'll be a little bit quiet right now, just uh, trying to, you know, get this done, get it sorted out before the time limit. Because I do want to train the eating group leveling quest to get some extra base EXP. But yeah, oh, level 77, we just started six minutes ago, and that's uh, just kind of slow, actually. Kinda. Uh, but it makes sense, though. It makes sense. It's not that slow. It's not slow at all. It's just that I want to use this for the eating group leveling quest 91 to 99 as well that I want to turn in. You can turn in those eating group quests, by the way, at any level. But once you get to like level 85 ish or so, it becomes better uh, a better idea at that point. That's kind of why I wait till then.
Full level, very nice. We go ahead and talk to the board again, select all missions. And go back over there. So the reason why I'm getting it is because once you pick up the quest with the girl, they're not checking for do you have the quest with the girl or not. They're checking for do you have the quest that says you have to go talk to the girl. So because the quest does not exist, when you select all, it gives you the quest. If you don't have the quest active, as in like, you know, it's showing on your window, then it's going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, just uh, keep doing your thing. It's all good. And that's it. Eleven minutes have gone by since we started doing the Eden Group leveling quest. We've gotten about eight levels so far. It seems pretty pretty good. Level up, we're now at level eighty. Take the quest. And once we're done with this quest, we can train the Eden Group um not the eating group the bounty board for this location which is going to give us another bit of exp or we can just skip out on it until we're level 86 plus which will probably be the best choice because we don't have to really train the quest right now unless we're low on time then yeah we'll probably do that but for what it's worth we're not going to do that just now we'll take some time before we do that perfect Oh, look at that nice teleport. Level 81. Going as fast as can be. And here we are.
level 82. This is going back pretty quick, thankfully. We're almost at the half of the battle manual. The last couple minutes will be restored for the uh, turn ins. And I realized that I will be losing the XP from turning in the both uh, Raedric, Raedric, the um, Wraith and Evil Droid quest. But I think I'm going to turn them in after I do the Eden Group leveling quests first. Because the Eden Group quest is smaller chunks, but the EXP is still, you know, sufficient. So we might be getting a bit more EXP than we expect to. So yeah. I'm not gonna do Wanderer. It's the same thing as the um it's the same thing as the this character. We just need to show the skills at one point, but it's really it's really the same thing. The leveling strat is the same. The skills can be explained separately. I can probably record something separately for the skills at another point in time. So not the main draw relax now relax now like there's a dancer right there I didn't grab butterfly wing. Ooh, I'm gonna lose some of that one. I think if you do the eating group leveling quest twice, doesn't matter how much job EXP you get the first time around. Because you're going to get the EXP with the other quest as well. So we can just go ahead and turn it in before the timer runs out. That's the thing that matters the most at this point.
Well, even on rebirth you get a lot of exp hmm i should be able to finish this up and then uh turn in the danny boards and then the eating group leveling quest eight minutes missions and off we go See a port at the entrance. Port at the entrance. There we go. Seven minutes left. We still got time to do maybe one or two more. Six minutes, man. I'm wondering if that is enough time, though. I do not know. Six minutes, one, seven seconds. Nice teleport. Get 120,000 EXP for each turn in. Really good EXP. I don't. Oh, let's see. Minutes and 12 seconds. I can do one more round. But if I do one more round, it's just for the extra EXP, I guess. Nothing else from that.
the other concern is... Four minutes. Do I have two, I have two minutes to turn in all the quests. If I do this one more round, I don't have time to explain anything. And I run the risk of not having the flywing available. So I'm going to just opt. Four minutes, two minutes. You know, I'm going to just grab the classes for the extra EXP later. We're going to risk it. I have to find a spot five four three two one come on four minutes left gotta land there gotta land there it's good enough for me and then we're gonna go ahead and just teleport out fast we have to minute finish within two minutes we have to train all of the quests of the eating group maybe it's a bad idea Maybe this is a bad idea. 20 minutes and 31 seconds. Two minutes and a half. I don't think it's enough to find the quest. So you have to pick up a butterfly wing. At the very least, you have to pick up one butterfly wing. Minutes and 58 seconds. Nope. Two minutes and 35 seconds, good enough. minutes and 22 seconds okay i'm gonna go to the second floor i'm gonna just turn everything in straight as it is Crap. okay no time to count anything just make sure you're going down each row. Nope, nope, you missed up, you missed up. Dark Priest, that's Rachel. Rachel, Jeroma, Rowen, Rachel, Jeroma, there we go. Expansion Cities, Shinobi, Evil Nymphus next. Other regions. Okay, what am I missing here? Active. Nothing. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Geffen. 54 seconds on the clock. We have enough for that. And we could have probably done a bit better, but level 90 is good enough for us to start picking up the Eden Group leveling quest 91 to 92. And then tomorrow we're going to start doing the um, other quests. So. We should have it drop is six and 55 is good enough and 51 91 all right that's good enough so in 30 minutes we went from level 71 to 91 with the eating grip leveling quest farmed ahead of time And turning in the two bounty posts that we had started since we started doing the uh 71 to 85 quest well since we started leveling it there at level 65 so
my main concern is how long it will take me to do all of this stuff tomorrow is there a chance that i can actually not finish this Todo bien aquí, todo bien, mi buen, todo bien. Part of me thinks I should probably go a little bit longer. For Dark Priest. I think Dark Priest would probably be the one that's worth doing. I think. Because this thing can finish the eating group leveling quest really fast within an hour. And then the rest of the stuff would just be questing. And we know to turn in the, uh, the, um, the mystery, mur the murder mystery quest before we talk to, uh, Brody, because we know Brody is the one that has the, um, What is that thing called again? He's the one that gives you the most EXP for your quests. So... Let's go see what Dark Priest is like right now. And uh, I think tomorrow. I mean, like, oh, yeah, no, it does make a difference. It does make a difference. I was thinking about, is there really much of a difference if you turn in certain quests in a particular order? Because then I also have to equip the, uh, the booster equipment. I need to equip it and show what it's like. Let's go ahead and make our way on over to Dark Priest. I still feel as though I kill faster by using the uh My cast can still be interrupted. It's a little bit, maybe just a tiny bit. Ah, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I know what. I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, I don't have it with me. cast yeah
Yeah, I guess that's cool because then you can start using the uh, skills in another uh, enemy, so... Yeah, so maybe I should take the small risk and be on maybe like 30 minutes earlier tomorrow and see how this goes, but... Esta... Es account bound, o sea, entonces no la puedes transferir uh, como por trade. No más puedes ser por uh, la pones en una armadura y la y la cambias. Así se hace. I don't know, man. I'm not sure when I could do that. I got other stuff I'm gonna cover in the schedule before then, so. Develing card vying uh, in garments. Hey, Vividor, did we have 200% EXP or 250% EXP when I did the uh, Stalker one? Oh, I know where I can check the airship when you do the uh, criminal activities. You relog. I'm looking at it right now. percent okay yeah it was 200 percent okay so i need to be at least level 93 and some percent before i got to that point because i still had to do uh some raw exp which wasn't all that bad Now that we know how to do the quest and if I can just get straight into it tomorrow and not, you know, gonna put mess around.
Hmm. I feel I had added a command for that, but I guess not. Maybe watch time? I don't know. Anyways. Let me go pan real quick. Let me check the market. Let me see what the market says. Eight thousand glossy hairs. I'll do that. Interesting. Um. do that certainly and we're gonna be heading off out oh um um yeah i'll go back i'll go back let me just um do some agriculture here real quick for tomorrow so i can just buy potions and spam the hell out of everything Just some arrows. What arrows? Oh, holy arrow. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. What am I testing on? Dark priest, right? Or just anyone. Okay. Dark priest. glossy hairs just do a real quick run and and then we're gonna log it off we're gonna check the damage on dark priest we're gonna log it off and then we're gonna be starting this again tomorrow I guess worst case scenario, we end up at 99 without being able to test the equipment. And if that happens, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. But I know that the quests don't take all that long. They took long because it took a good amount of time to do them. So that's why. I'm gonna just skip ahead to this part over here because uh 
we'll just leave the assassin farm that part and we're gonna farm this other half over here so that'll be more ideal for us But it would be nice if we could find enemy Yabby dolls now, right? So let's keep going here with this. I'm gonna just do one quick run here. I'm gonna go back to the Dark Priest, test out the thing here, and then uh, head on out, get some rest. And then tomorrow, we're gonna just do a full on grind on the EXP quests. And then after that, it'll be just uh, GG. It'll be over and get to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Hopefully I can finish this on time. I don't think it's gonna take all that much longer, so. But I'm sure if I take up a little bit of time to, uh, you know, prepare, get more EXP, EXP, get more SP potions, more blue syrups, I should be able to just spam away early on, eating good leveling quests right off the bat and then get some levels from the dark priest or just able to dark priest bounty board and the uh wraith and evil druid and see how that goes or maybe do another bounty board that i think may be worth the exp but again that's uh hard to tell we could do a calculation how much exp is required because i know we got 80 million exp from the stuff we did last time so we should be aiming to be around, you know, that same, uh, same spot that we started at to ensure we have the EXP required. So, uh, doing the eating group leveling quest will be helpful early on because that'll give us some uh, basic EXP that we need, but then we still have to go back and do the leveling at Dark Priest just to make sure that we have enough EXP before we turn in the quest to get to 99. So effectively, I know which quest to do. I know where to go. I know what needs to be done. We just need a little bit of Zenny for, uh, Blue Seros to spam our skills tomorrow. And other than that, we're pretty much good to go. 42 hairs. If we get 100, that's good enough. We have, well, we'll have about 1.5 million zenny.
make our lives just a tiny little bit better. But yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty much good to, uh, you know, good to go on the leveling process. Just uh, start up tomorrow. I'm just going to check out what the XP my rogue started doing the job change quest stuff. Start a job change, start training the battle menu stuff and whatnot and try to match the EXP. Uh, I know we're going to have a bit of a difference because we're not training the battle menu stuff with the... Uh, Priscilla's murder mystery quest we're actually going to start doing that and add it to the streams we're going to do it in a way that is going to facilitate the process so we're going to order we're going to set up things in order and we'll just go with that order and make sure that we follow through because we did lose a lot of the xp the wiki was wrong in regards to how much the xp was given at which part of the quest so we can make an adjustment to that we should actually be able to uh, hit level 100 with ease as 500 exp without the battle manual i mean sorry it was 250 exp i think it was we could have gotten a little bit extra more made our lives a little bit easier and yeah Eh, it's okay, I suppose. Oh, you can't use it because you're overweight. Okay, well. I think it's inner stuff stuff here. Whew. Okay, so we'll just drop the white herbs. To buy white herbs actually we could drop the iron and it'd be just as good i think no it's not it's worse okay or yeah we can't actually pick up our stuff whatever it doesn't matter people pay 150 any for the white herbs
656,000 zenny. I think that's enough. All right, so I'm going to be going back to Dark Priest just to test out the damage between the uh, two types of arrows. And after that, that's it. That'll be that. Remove booking. I have to organize myself for tomorrow just to make sure I get this done on time. Alright, so you want to see the damage on the Dark Priest, right? So I do like 5.5k, 5.4 5 5.9, 5.5 5 That's a huge variance If I if I switch my stats over to more dexterity, it's doable, but the variance is like 400 damage. That's huge. Like 5.8 thousand damage, 5.6. I think it's 5. Point something average. Yeah. Alright, so I think I'll leave the... Well, I think I have to take the character back anyway, so... Alright, so we're going to set this up for tomorrow. Uh, do you want him back or do I keep him or what do you want? Actually, I can't even afford to send him out. Okay, I'll keep him. It's not like it really makes that much of a difference for me because it's still not two, one, two shots. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. So when you do the eating group leveling quest, you're going to have the mission timer cool down. You have to talk to Gramps. You have to, you know, pass this test with questions. And uh, don't just spam answer because you're going to get it wrong. So. It's no, 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 no. And yes. And uh, timer is gone. You can go ahead. Two hours ahead of my time. Oh, you're uh, were well, you Midwest? No, not Midwest. A little bit, a little bit closer to the, to the West Coast. Mountain time. Oh, sniper card. Oh, 55 billion galley. That is expensive. <laughs> Let's go to glass time first. We're going to start off with the Eden Group leveling quest. 91 to 99 and we should have healed up first but yeah you know i think we'll be fine like this maybe you can do dark priest first and then come back for the other ones for 42 a.m wow wait why are you oh wait wait work right i was about to say why are you up early but then it's probably work i'm almost guessing it's work You're at work at the moment. All right. Well, hope you enjoy the um, commentary on leveling a clown. So Bard leveled up really, really fast, by the way. It's insane how fast you leveled up. 
it's almost the same as backstab uh, rogue and the um paladin almost i think rogue was just i think they were both just a little bit faster than paladin i think i don't know it's just kind of going like that like the entire the entire time was me just doing that it was insane it's just crazy to me how fast you can level up even a 20 percent rate you know it beats the other magic classes as well i mean a very surprising factor is just the spammability of uh melody strike having your own uh you know bragging on your, you don't have to choose bragging yourself it's just a huge advantage feeling you know you, you don't two shot the dark priest if you could it would be great you know it would probably be just a little bit faster but still nonetheless it's just very very strong to be able to spam you know five almost five thousand damage at such speed it's just not even funny you know it's not a laughing matter you know it's just uh like wow this class can level up quick you know and then when you become a uh you know uh maestro you know third class you have access to the severe rainstorm so your life is still easy because you have an aoe skill a very nice aoe skill You know what you know what's insane i actually did not do harpies i actually did the uh, eating group leveling quest 71 to 85 and i did that as a re I actually in fact as a clown as a you know minstrel i did level 71 to 85 with a battle manual and i did eating group leveling quest 71 to 85 and i got to 86 like 26 ish minutes 27 minutes 85 i think it was and then the next thing i did was uh i trained the eating group leveling quest that i had from uh you know i did as a bard and i got to level i got to level 91 like that 91 56 whatever you know and it was wonderful it's like wow this class levels up fast yeah minstrel yeah 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 I was saying I would kill for a butterfly wing and then I got one. Why? Because consistency. It's gotta be the universal guide. The guide to end all guides. This has gotta be it. And it has to make sense. And thank goodness it makes it makes sense. At least within the scope of IRO it makes sense, right? I should pick up the loot. That's why I'm broke, right? And then the funny thing is that 91 to 99 is the i found i mean i found out 99 to 90, 91 to 99 is the worst i found that it was the worst but i mean i know people knew that i think it was already a known fact but when you level up all of these characters on stream and you do it in one sitting without having to skip out on you know 
certain levels you just realize wow this is actually very um very very difficult and then you look at the exp table and you're like okay yeah we kind of knew that that makes sense and then when you look at the leveling spots and you put two and two together you say you know what this is actually this actually makes a lot of sense as to why it's difficult it's not just difficult because you feel it difficult it's difficult because the exp table spikes up and our choices for each class is very limited in that regard magma dungeon level two without counting for grams you know grams is not consistent grams always varies right so we have uh magma dungeon level two we have dark priest we have ruins i mean ruins zero must stop was kind of like in the same uh same category but they're all you know just a lot slower than dark priest nonetheless and you realize man magic classes have it kind of tough but if you're a single target class that can you know dish out maybe six thousand damage in one go you have it good if you need a fire elemental converter to deal six thousand damage that's even better because at the very least you have the capacity to achieve that over here clown bard deals four thousand eight hundred damage and doesn't go past that because the skill damage modifier is what 10 percent times two meanwhile you have you know rogue doing 700 percent attack damage hitting twice you have bowling bash hitting for god knows how much you know 500 percent attack damage times four you make a mob four you got assassin with uh sonic blow and sonic acceleration dealing god knows how much percent attack damage you got hunter single uh, single shotting with traps claymores a bit a bit annoying they're still probably the uh one of the better choices for for um for hunter rather than spamming double strafe you are just better off you know hitting the hitting the claymore traps because it's one shot start priest So there really isn't a whole lot that you need to do. Ah, I should have teleported away. I just wanted to pick up the Lunium. Was that too much to ask for? Was the Lunium too much to ask for? Yep. So mine does not have inconsistencies because I managed to pull out. Wait, what do you mean inconsistency? What did you, if you can just tell me in, the, in simple terms, what, what was inconsistent about 91 to 99? Was it too many leveling places you can go to or? funny because you know now i think about it there's, there's another way to go about a leveling guide but low ti turtle yeah I, I don't know I, i'm sure you've been around for the uh, for the booster series but i think i've done all the characters with the exception of uh finish i'm finishing up clown today i need to do alchemist next week which is gonna be the most painful one of them all i, I don't think it's probably not gonna be that bad but it's just still not something I'm looking forward to because in terms of game mechanics, they have a very, very big disadvantage. They become biochemists and don't get any additional extra damage on their abilities. They don't have any extra AOE and they're literally the same character just with more EXP requirements. And then I'm missing Taekwondo Master and then I'm missing Ninja and that's it. I'm just missing those three after this. Bard and Dancer are essentially the same class. I don't know if there's a different size modifier for whips because I think I had that issue where I saw that the damage modifier was different. I was doing different damage with a bard and dancer. So I need to look into that once again, maybe. But all classes have been pretty much done. And it makes sense as to why you go to certain places with certain characters. Even if it's low, it's just more like, okay, well, this is what the character can actually handle, you know. You probably could handle stuff with uh, better gear. But my concern is people going way too out of the way for extra gear. So I can give you recommendations, you know, at the end of each video or for each video, I can say, hey, you know what? You can also use these following gears. 
if it's your second playthrough you can use this equipment just uh you know make sure you you re you recognize that you're not gonna be going way past this right now because you know we're limited to these leveling locations for example a sage can you know probably level up with uh hindsight right people are telling me to battle sage bear do battle sage battle sage is legit i'm like yeah 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 battle sage is legit but mechanically speaking in terms of flee and you know um the dps the dps is very inconsistent you're relying on rng for your for your procs it's not like you cast a skill and you get the kill you know the unluckiest person in the world is probably gonna you know kill a uh you know dark priest by punching them with a sage before they get a bolt sometime you know it could happen i'm not gonna say that's how it is but it could happen the unluckiest person in the world you know maybe they forgot to turn on hindsight and now they're just punching things because they forgot to do so missing third class wow yeah i think i put a lot of time and effort into all of these characters okay but like i was saying sage for example sage you can do fireball okay without gear you level up a ruins ruins is just your better option right cast a caster in terms of consistency and you know you go to ruins and you heaven's drive that's gonna take forever now the only way you can level up the process you can make it faster is if you get equipment to one shot with ruin at ruins with heaven's drive now how much more equipment are you gonna need to be able to one shot with heaven's drive at ruin now let's take it a step further you can do fireball yeah you can do fireball on the undead which you know ding 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 exactly dark priest is undead but the problem here is if you get cursed by them you're pretty much dead because they're gonna catch up to you and just be like you know they'll just kill you right so the issue then becomes all right so how much more equipment do i need to two shot with fireball how much more equipment do i need because i tried mobbing them with fireball and it wasn't easy yeah but if you firewall as a agent intelligence dexterity caster you know they're gonna catch up and they snap they use snap and they move out of the way of the uh the pathing for firewall their, their ai makes them uh snap out of the a uh, firewall Now, if you have multiple of them, one or two are going to, you know, slip through and well, you're going to have a new set of problems right there. You have two problems. Why are there asters in prison? Oh, because we have a uh, event going on, a noodle, noodle festival, and that's one of the event monsters. They add the event monsters to other maps. So let's just say you want to use fireball how much more gear do you need to kill with fireball at least you can two shot obviously yeah and if you, and you want to one shot because you know just in case you get cursed or something you probably could get away with uh you know two fireball level 10 actually that would be ideal but how much more gear is it going to take for you to get that much more damage with fireball as a new player what increases damage with fireball very simple simply put our wiki fireball We look at our options uh enhanced by cannon rapier os crimson staff uh but the crimson staff is a specific one from mora it's more a village empower crimson staff i guess that's more a village if i'm not mistaken artifact collector and then fire condor card so fire condor card will increase damage to fireball at least early on you can also get other you know increased damage with fire element stuff but you know the icing on the cake well the cake itself is really just the fire uh the fire counter cards donde vives en, en estados unidos en la costa este so then you know you realize damn okay so i need do need a whole lot of gear to level up with the uh to make my life easier on you know a dark priest and i need a whole lot of gear to make my life easier at you know ruins so you kind of come to the realization that there is a certain range of how much damage you can deal within a certain amount of zenny that you would spend to get that damage and the amount of zenny you spend 
to ease that, you know, time leveling, you know, would really, you know, it's not beneficial unless you're already established and you're making a character for fun. Tan temprano está despierto. Porque a mí me dijeron, ah, estás aquí tan temprano. Y dije, pues sí. Canale al mantenimiento del servidor. Ya, ah, ok, ok, está bien, está chulo, me está bien. Ándalos, ándalos y todo, dale, síguele. Oh, bueno, pues. Pero sí. hablando rápido para mí lo siento pero yo no hablo bueno oh ok ok le vas un poquito más despacito but you speak english right Yeah, and they, they did make that change uh, a while back in the, uh, I think the 2020 maintenance, they, they made that change. So, it's a very welcome change, by the way. Archer is a better first character. Mages take a very long time to level up. You can do it without fan, but the problem is that you, you go to certain specific maps and you have to be very careful. I mean, you can make it without having to be too careful, but what I'm getting at is that, you know, the leveling maps are appropriate for the class. It's going to be slower. You could, but when you get to level 91, it's going to get more difficult. When you get to level 71, uh, you're going to have very few options. You can follow both geographers all the way to level 81. Then you can code bolts, goats, and grand pecos. Or you can firewall the race and evil druids and level up faster. I think that's the same for all classes, honestly. I, I really think at this point that all classes can level up with ease. It's just going to be the same thing as we mentioned before. We're going to be running into the same problem. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know if but what are you what you used to do if you mean pure renewal that's a very different era the exp table is changed it's not the same as it was before You cannot use wings in, in bio 5. You have to use the um, cursed fragment or whatever I think it is. 
Right, right, right. Yeah, no, uh, if you want to level up a... Depending on which class you want to level up, I have a guide. If you want to level up a hunter to ranger, I got this. You want to level up a mage to warlock, I got this. You want to level up a mage to sorcerer, I got this. But it did take a very long time to level them. To level the mage classes, I'll tell you that much. Hunter may be easier on the soul. Being kind of stuck on to level my booster warlock at the moment. Booster warlock, what level? We've, we've had discussions about uh, warlock recently on the on the bear cord. I sell these two items at least. Yes, I, yeah, I can sell these. Shadow Violin. So not so the, in re, in renewal they changed the levels for those maps. Rage of Sanctuary is a level one twenty to one forty dungeon, and the Natos dungeon is a level one hundred to one hundred and two and onwards uh, dungeon. So it's a bit more difficult. Sorry, Kainan, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. So, yeah, thanks. So, wait, so where are you stuck with your Warlock? I'm kind of curious about where you're getting stuck. I learned from other people too, so. Good morning, Grant. One thirty-eight dragons. Yeah, I think that's kind of the one map that we that we all go to. That it's kind of the established, tried and true. Some people say no, but bear, that's kind of boring. Like I know it's boring, but it's the best map you can do. Any other map, you're gonna be struggling with ranged monsters, with monsters that have stun, with monsters that have that little you know little quick range attack thing. There's gonna be you're gonna struggle everywhere. But bear, and like no, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. At least the at least the Mandragoras are ranged to like maybe like three cell range, not like you know, twenty cell range like the Droseras that hit you from like across the map. You walk into the map and Droseras are like high there, and you're like, oh no. You know, at the very least, it's not like that. They just hurt, yeah. So you know, you end up doing the Quagmire, you end up doing the positioning stuff. Mages are all about positioning. I mean, unless you have the skills to just, you know, the, uh, the gears to just spam everything. Yeah. Okay. I get that, but still. Wait, where am I going? I mean, 300 K is enough to kill him, right? I have like what? 180, 180 K HP. Just look at it this way. You can also go to Scarabas. These guys won't attack me. Okay. So divine pride, scaraba. Divine pride. Combat basilisk. Combat basilisk. Fire. Okay, yeah. Red one. EXP wise, 20% EXP is 10,679. Scaraba. I mean, let's just say that you did the quest for Andrew Scaraba and everything, and that you went inside the Scaraba hole. 100% EXP is 3,165 EXP for Antler Scaraba versus the Comet Basilisk is all that much extra, you know, EXP. It's three times the amount of EXP on the Comet Basilisk over the, you know, over the Scaraba. Like, 
Scrava gives you less EXP. And that alone tells me everything I need to know. Hey, Shusano, how you doing? I'm just leveling, you know the drill. Get to 99 before maintenance, get to 100 before maintenance. Gotta beat the timer. Give me one second real quick. Just have stamped. I don't know because the problem with the stem market is that I don't have not seen many people buy stamps these days. If you see somebody buying stamps, sell it to them. That's probably the better pricing you're going to get for that over the NPC stuff. The NPC doesn't pay you all that much for the uh, stamps anyway, so. Yeah, fire rain is not working for rebels. It dropped you an axe. Yeah, it's uh, it's a crimson axe. The, the crimson axes don't always sell it's um it's a hard bargain to drive honestly sometimes they sell sometimes they don't the only class that I could see using the crimson axe would be a mechanic or a blacksmith but i mean depending on the element like holy, holy always sells decently all other elements sell for like maybe a hundred thousand but i mean i always tend to see my second i always npc my my crimson's here on the stream because i i just don't have a need for them don't feel too bad about it you'll be fine
we're battle bishop battle bishop coming later the alternate leveling series maybe maybe i'll do alternate leveling series i'm not sure because 91 to 99 is a pain i think i might just be like up to level 95 or something i don't know Well, that does not seem like the best of ideas. But at least for here it is. Goodness. Freezers are very tanky. Critnatic. Oh, man. Whenever I, I auto attack something out of boredom and I get a crit, I think about that. Every Vulcan got stronger, by the way. They reworked the skill. You don't have the hard animation anymore, so. At least that's right. Got a cow kick in an hour, super pure and ready. Still telling myself one man like this. It always happens. Yeah, you need to use the you need to use the rune and change the element of your dragon breath for that. Probably the uh, the one way to go about it. Oh wow, that hurts. Am I dead but going on? I see. Oh, that's right. That's right. Magic strings. That's what it was. I'm really risking it here trying to just uh, hit him with that when I can just, you know, use magic, uh, melody strike. Melody strike is just better in terms of spammability. Goes by just a little bit faster. Gets the job done as well. Oh, 
Oh no, the uh, the new elemental table is not here yet. I think it's to be in the next couple of updates. They'll have it. You know how they are. They don't have anything every in in order here. Looks like someone is waiting for the turtle general to spawn. All right, we're done with this map. Let's go back to Rachel. What would I not do for the butterfly wing right now? <sighs> so you don't mind me asking how you find the stream? Because, you know, I, I tend to, when people t tell me that they're, you know, from certain regions and, you know, they're not playing on IRL, it makes me just want to ask, you know, just to get an idea, you know. How people hear about the stream and all, because, you know, it's, uh, there's been a lot more people these days. Right now, it's not the, uh, the peak hours. Maybe like, you know, four hours from now, there'll be more people. And it's just kind of, kind of interesting to see people from different time zones coming in. You know, tell me where they're from. And it's nice because, you know, it, it goes along with what I thought about before that, you know, RO is, uh, you know, it's worldwide. You know, there's people from all over the place connecting. People from Southeast Asia, people from Europe, people from East Asia. We got people from South America. We got people from, well, I mean, yeah, South America and Brazil, right? From the Brazilian server, I meant to say Brazilian server. Uh, people from Latin America, yeah, Latin America, and people from the you know, Brazilian server. People that connect to IRO as well, in different regions as well. Uh, what else do we have? Oceania, we have people from Oceania, I'm very sure of that. If that's how you pronounce it. God, I gotta look up how to pronounce it. Oceania. Oceania. There we go. Wow. But it's with a C. I'm from Greece. There we go. There we have it. From Greece. Your channel pops up when I was watching Wiz stream. Okay. That's cool. Probably because it's aura related, you know. So that would make sense. But then I look to the side and I see, you know, other games that I've never seen before show up on the side people that I've never seen before in my life I'm like oh i don't know people stream that i don't need to use bracket for this it's just two hits very wide open map dropped the weapon around here i saw it i mean from what i heard from what i heard people can connect apparently Supposedly, I don't even know where that that location was where I left the uh, item on the floor. If it's gone, it's gone. But you know, and you know, a monster probably ate it. jump out the window Woo. just kidding we're gonna go out to the balcony and uh talk to the hidden teleport officer because 
Gestapo uh, requires you to go to veins or vines, as uh, Death would call it. Uh, this gem, this is this is this is a great gem. All right. Yeah, I mean, the market markets always change. No price is gonna be the same, right? It's just remember, it, this is not the Zenny to buy big equipment. This is just like pocket change to get you some stuff along the way. You have if you made a booster character, you have the booster give. If you're not a booster character, you have uh, the episode 16.1 Banquet for Heroes equipment to use. So. You know. Look, it's an avalanche. Hey, Ot Pretender, how are you? Good morning to you. You almost killed me. How would I do? I do. <laughs> Alright, we completed Stopple. Let's head on back to town and then we can do Seroma. Good morning so far. Thanks to all of you. Good morning to everyone. Oh, I didn't do an introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Captain Summer. We're going to be running the last part of Clown Minstrel all the way to 9970. We're going to try to get this done before maintenance. And we started a bit earlier as than usual to get this done. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Eating group leveling quest followed by questing to get ourselves to level 99. And we'll see where we take it from there. Let's go. All right. Mm -hmm. Ice Dungeon. Ice Dungeon is another banger of a song. I love this jam. target
it's interesting because you have really good killing speed so the monster you gotta fight really is dark trees you have the damage for it you have the dps complete there you go look at that complete I'll move the boxes out of the way first. That is weird. Hmm. I guess I never noticed that. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing up. Once you said you are weird, it showed up. That was the first message that showed up on the box. Death is like, you're weird, and it shows up. Perfect. Thank you, Death. Nice teleport. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and kill all the evil nymphs. Let's get some magic trees going and off we go. It was Snake Lord in the middle area by the by these stones over here. 
if anybody wants it. We're done with this, but I'm just using up the uh, my SP. Let's get out of here. The better Zenny will come in later, so. No, not really. A lot of the 20% damage cards really aren't that great. And if you have eating gear, the thing about eating gear is that eating group equipment. You can get an enchant on your eating group equipment, on your eating group weapon. And I think flora is one of those uh versus plant, yeah. Is it plant or is it insect? Wait, what is this? Flora, flora, flora. Floor again. I keep forgetting. Physical damage against fish, fish, fish. Yeah, fish. I know what's in the list for the eating group equipment enchant, so. But still, it's not really that great. It's very, it's a very, very niche use as well. There's not a whole lot of, um, it's not a whole lot of fish monsters you gotta fight. And even if you did, a general weapon with, you know, 20% damage on it, I'm sorry, a size damage card on it is probably better. Unless it's an awfully specific weapon, but still, I I don't really see those anymore these days. You're level 109. Which class are you again? Rebellion. Yeah, you can keep going for a little bit longer. 
I think even even in terms of raw EXP, it's really good all the way to maybe like 120-ish or so. 115-ish, at least 115-ish, where you get the upgrades for your uh, you know booster equipment. And it's very easy to do. I think the monsters at Jupiter still sort of five year round trip at that level. So I would probably encourage you to keep going a little bit longer or maybe all the way to 115 and then go to uh, Jupiter's. You can try Jupiter's right now at level 110. It wouldn't be a bad idea, but you know, just keep in mind, you're going to round trip and teleport away. You're not going to stay there at all. Round trip and teleport, round trip and teleport. Jupiter, so you can use the dungeon teleporter to go there. In the eating group, there's a dungeon teleporter. They can take you to Jupiter's. It's really mobby, but keep in mind that you are going to really just teleport after you use round trip. If you cannot one shot, then you got to go back to Magma Dungeon for a little bit longer. Because the, uh, the main point is to be able to one shot and teleport away. So you can get the kill counts, but do it at level one. Yeah, do it at level 115. At level 110, you can pick up the bounty board for uh, Jupiter's. And I think that's where it's really more worth. And raw EXP is great. Don't get me wrong. Raw EXP is great, but it's probably better to just get the bounty board, especially when Magma Dungeon is so easy for you to handle. Just, you know. Bounty board, picking up the bounty board at level 110. It doesn't it doesn't hurt to get the pick up the bounty boards. Raw EXP is not bad, but it's better with the bounty boards. But stay at Magma is really good EXP. Bounty, bunny. Yeah, I can see how. Nope, that's all that's all there is. Use a merchant. Make yourself a merchant and get the discount and um It'll be cheaper by like maybe like two thousand cent or something like that. At level one twenty you can buy the uh concentrated blue zeros, but they may cost about the same. But honestly, that's as good as it gets, and we have it really good, honestly. Because before you had to do so much SP management for these characters, it was just insane. Much amount to this real quick.
Yeah. You should make if you're gonna be buying a lot of uh, blue zeros, make a merchants. Just get the uh discounts uh level 10 if you need be. Or you make a merchant in your same account. Well actually. Yeah, you could probably just like if you're just uh selling items to people, you can probably just uh, put the items in your in, in your storage and have your merchant sell it to people, you know, to the buy shops and just buy the zeros from there. Or make it into a separate account and just give your character the Zenny and make them buy the potions. Oh no, they didn't change that. That's uh, you have VIP probably. You probably have VIP. I'm almost searching a VIP. Yep. I mean, 30 SP is nice and all. But doing this, I can just, you know, do that. You know, 7.2 thousand damage, and I can just do that in three faster than that. I don't know. And it's even kind of rate entirely, so. Yeah, Transcendence is gone. than the raids just have to walk yeah not really oh there was one right here Oh, here's the new raids. Look at that. Remember, my goal is to just get this done before maintenance. We have four or five hours left. So, I think we'll make it. I think we will make it. <gasps> and I kill that one. Right side. Like, wake up there. The monsters are right there.
Hola, buenos días. I was watching last night. I some nice right now exercise. Like, what quest they get in different cities? Can you link that again, hombre? Uh, a ver. Let me see. Right now, sites. Oh, you link some nice right now, sites. Like, what quest they get in different cities? Oh, are you talking about the eating group level? The bounty boards, right? Are you talking about the bounty boards? Are you talking about this? Yeah, because I was actually the thing is I was well not yesterday, but I was talking about doing quests to get EXP. Not the bandit oh crap, I need to get hit. How you doing now, Shoko? Nice to see you. We're done here. Let's get out of here. go you know the only thing i wished they changed actually there is a bit of a quote-unquote fix a bit of a solution for this stuff but you know one of the issues that i have with the game not that i have with the game it's just the realization of the exp you know the exp for rebirth classes being pretty steep and the leveling options we have available within the game is just somewhat limited in a way I don't know if that would make sense for some of you, but when you level up all the characters to 99, you kind of realize what your options truly are, with the exception of Gramps, because Gramps is not consistent. It's always changing. And some classes, maybe Assassin Cross and Lord Knight and maybe Sniper can get away with it. Maybe a Priest with a uh, Fen Clip could probably get away with that as well. But the point is, you know you have very few options magma dungeon dark priest or wings maybe even ground petites but ground petites is just very low exp you, know, you can definitely do better so uh, we're gonna use this for leveling it takes four shots with the eating group uh violin but you know well guitar it's a guitar technically but yeah use the life potions just because we have available otherwise i would have farmed up zenny and bought potions but you know i'll be talking about basic zenny making in another stream i think maybe friday stream i can do that or maybe i can do another expanded class on friday get two expanded class out of the way and then next we would literally only have uh well actually technically we only have ninja star emperor you know type one master and what is the other class called alchemist left where why is my list dragons damage way higher? Well, here's why. I mean, I can just do four and I can kill him faster. If if I have other monsters near me and I try casting, I can get interrupted. At least with Melody Strike, I can just go ahead and uh, you know use my skill, spam it, and kill him fast, and not have to worry about the interruption. Yeah, I thought it would one shot as well. In some cases, it does one shots in monsters, but you but you do get interrupted though. That's the problem. You get hit, you get interrupted. You're gonna be just uh, you know stuck. At least this way, you don't have to worry about getting interrupted if you if you get hit right. 
it seems this monster doesn't always hit but you still have to use another skill or you have to auto attack and if you have a lot of monsters nearby you might want to just uh, kill him as soon as you can Here I can do this. I can take out the Dolahan first. And if I don't get hit with a skill by them, I can probably there you go. If I was to use uh you know Vulcan arrow, I wouldn't be able to do that. Man, zero to one billion, we have to wait. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean zero to one billion? I already made one billion zinny on stream. I saw the uh, I saw the item I got from the uh, from an instance. I saw the sealed evil sword. Remember Geneticist? I don't know if you were there for that one. No, there's no big advantage over Bard. It's almost the same class. But the only benefit is that the damage, the DPS remains constant. Yes, I mean, yeah, I mean, the DPS is, is constant. I mean, in terms of leveling, without making things too complicated, you still just use the same abilities, which is great. At, at least High Wizard has the option to use Napalm Vulcan over Wizard, which is very welcome, by the way. Kind of want to play our against that since we knew enough and you're overwhelmed by all the changes with so much going on. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna sound funny, but I'm here to help with that actually. I'm I'm, I'm on my own, just you know, like I, this is just me the way I do this entertainment, the way I do the streaming. So, you know, gotta provide something for the people to want to watch and entertain with, right? So, well, I can head all the way over there, that's cool. There is a lot of stuff in renewal, but any class that you pick, I can assure you, I have a very straightforward leveling method, easy explanation for the class, easy to handle, nothing too complicated. Maybe uh, I, I might be able to map more and kill things faster, but the leveling locations are relevant to every, every class and nothing is overly complicated. It's just very straightforward and everything and anything that may be deemed complicated is explained as well. So if you want to play so you want to play a knight to ruin it you got that you want to play a uh, crusader to paladin to royal guard you got this you want to play priest you want to play uh maybe you want to play monk into sura here you got you got a uh, sura over here you want to play archbishop here you go you want to play warlock here you go you want to play sorcerer here you go well you want to level up a character to level 100 to be those classes yeah I have the leveling guys for the majority of the classes i'm only missing uh clown which is this one right here i'm missing alchemist to geneticist and then i'm also missing 
uh taekwondo master and ninja physical and magical so i've been working on this the past month this is what i've been streaming the past month so uh you know by all means again so people understand it's entertainment uh you know give something for people to want to watch them to see and you know i can shine through all this in a way in terms of entertainment so i mean i do interact with everybody we do chat about different stuff every now and then so by all means and very open to uh to conversation very open to feedback very open to op open to opinions and uh, most of the time i have to think why i don't do certain things and the vast majority of the time is i want to make this as simple as possible for new players a lot of people are very skilled some people are very talented and they do different leveling locations but what i wanted to do was give the most simple straightforward leveling approach that anybody can follow because i know renewal so for some people is very overwhelming and i like to make sure that people can still find joy in the game by you know having a place they can level up at and not have to struggle as much in fact i can level up mages sorcerers i mean uh wizards and sages without a need for fan which a lot of people are telling me just get a fan bear just get a fan i'm like no 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 i can't get a fan you can get a fan through the to this one particular dungeon that we have it's called the overlook water dungeon once you complete it you can actually pick up a card oh this is cheaper you can actually pick a card of your choice it's called uh overlook water overlook water dungeon right here you can finish this quest between level two between level 30 to 85 and once you complete the boards you can get a um card of your choice as well as a reward but only the cards from blm dungeon of course nothing to know Nothing too super expensive from other places, right? I'm trying to grab a bite real quick. There's no. It's wine back. Because we still have to beat the maintenance, by the way. The goal is to beat the maintenance. Yeah, Minor is the last monster, and then we can start doing the quest for EXP, and I'll explain how all of this is going to work. It's kind of interesting, really. It's not too complicated. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. That's too much damage. But that's Claymore Trap anyway, so... Alright, I'm gonna kill 10 real quick or kill some and then I'm gonna go go get some these from the fridge. Action Michael just came in with a tier one sub. Thank you very much for your support. Your support goes a long way. And if you know, you probably don't know, but I'll tell you right now, your support goes a long way. And with that said, you now have access to the Salty Bear, Wonkus Bear, Gas Bear, Upboat Bear, What Bear, Corn Bears, Kawaii Bear, and Hey Head Bear. So take these bears with you, enjoy them, use them to your liking, take them with you, 
uh keep them company they'll keep you company and of course thank you for your support really really appreciate it so enjoy the bears and i hope you enjoy the stream Looks like someone's huge level. Please. All right. So I'm going to go grab a snack real quick. Quest time. We're going to do some criminal activities. This story takes place in Gaffin. It's really not that complicated. It's not very difficult. And you'll probably have a good time with it. It's not difficult. So make sure you bring a bunch of light wings just to teleport around. I've done this quest multiple times. I'll probably do a better coverage of it later. But for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and do this fast. You will need some Zenny for one part of the quest. I know I just pulled out, you know, 6.600,000 Zenny out of my, you know, mail, but I had that saved up from stuff that I sold in the market. I sold it to a buy shop, so, you know. So the main thing about this quest is you're not going to turn them in. You're going to stop at the last step. You're going to be stacking them and you're going to be turning them in with a battle manual buff. Ooh, battle manual. Yes, that's right. So you get free battle menus when you start the game. If you go to the Criteria Academy, if you follow the VOD, if you're watching the VODs, follow the VODs carefully. At the beginning, I tell you to go to Islu to go to the Criteria Academy. Do not deviate from the plan. By all means, do exactly as the video says. You can get your metal weapon. You can go to the little hut, get your extra stats. But you have to go to the eating group. I mean, sorry, you have, to, you have to go to, not the eating group, you have to go to the Criteria Academy. You register the Academy. And then you go to the eating group. And then you get the uh, freebies from uh, Secretary Lam Evanor. Exactly. You have to go to the academy first. That's what I meant. You go to the academy. You go to the Criteria Academy in this loot. Yeah very very that's a very important detail because with the battle manual buff you get a lot of exp you can actually level up as a you can level up as a high novice with a mercenary as well you can also do the mercenary method it works the catch is that i use a battle manual from 71 to 85 because i save up my eating group leveling quest from uh second class 
and then i turn them in when i'm level 88 or so and i get myself to well, level 85 or so and i get myself to level 91 or so with the battle manual buff and now i'm gonna use the battle manual buff again once i do all the quests but wait i'm gonna stop at the last step i'm gonna get some more exp and then i'm gonna turn them in with a battle manual and it's gonna give me a lot more exp than you expect to In fact, I could probably get to 99 from here. Well, no, I can probably get to, yeah, I can probably get to 99 or so, but I will still be off by a bit of the XP. Uh, um, wait, I'm arm wrestling her. Oops. Oh, wait a second. Did I pick? Oh, okay. I picked the wrong option, didn't I? I guess I picked the armor thing option. Don't follow this. You're supposed to do a let's make a deal and you pay her 100,000 zenny. Whoop. Moderate chance of succeeding. I guess it's 5Ks in each time. You have some info to give me. Oh, interesting. Is this info that you can share to the world? Or is it something you want to just tell me privately? Or what is it? What's going on? Oh, okay. When someone tells me it's like something direct, it's like, what is it? I'm not very good at arm wrestling. If I leave the map and come back in, do I get to like change the option or am I going to have to? Oh yeah. No, that is the quest. You have to arm wrestle old lady. Uh, okay. I guess you have to arm wrestle until you win. There's an option to pay 100,000 Zenny and I wanted to do that instead. <sighs> I screwed up. There's a chance to win though, so. I'd rather just pay the 100,000 and move on, so. How could you beat me, finally? Ah, finally. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had people do that before. <laughs> it's like, were you, were you armors not now, but turns out they have eight packs and professional wrestler, yeah. I, I've told people about that before. I think we had somebody do that early on, and we got them to fix it. Thanks for sharing. Actually, I don't think I've brought that up uh, recently. So that's actually good to bring up again for the people who are watching. So I should probably include that at the end of the uh, the booster stuff as well. So we will probably do that. Talk to Howard Moon. You have to go stop some... Uh,
All right, so you have to go around and click on some locations. It's not all that difficult. Just some flood control stuff, but uh, it's not very difficult. And then the quest is literally like maybe like five, 10 minutes. So now you have to go to the earth ship. You have to go inside the uh, airship. So you're going to be going off to Juno. Well, let's go to Pantera. Let's go to Juno. Let's go to the airship. This quest is called the criminal activities quest. It's an IRO exclusive. Something like that. Now you gotta drug the chicken. You add drugs to the chicken. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> why would I put drugs in the chicken? I love chicken. You wire this. You wire this. It's a very, very straightforward quest, honestly. It's just once you do it once or twice, you get the hang of it, and it makes the leveling process so much easier. And there's a lot of VXP. Like we're gonna see how much XP we're gonna be getting. Even if we don't hit 99, we still have the battle menu to kind of keep us going. So yeah. Roided chicken. So here you have to wait a little bit or you can just relog. And all you gotta do is you gotta click on the switch. You don't have to fight the monsters here. Just click and leave. You actually you can even step right here i believe and just uh, click and that's it and then you talk to the kid ah you're the engineer yeah yeah So you crash the airship. Literally, that's what happens. That's the story. All right, so that's the end of this because if you do the last step, you get the EXP, and we don't want to get the EXP. So we're gonna go back again. We're gonna go to the airship there. We're gonna be doing the Eye of the Beholder quest now.
You know what? I forgot to do something real quick. I'm gonna sit next to the beho. Oh god, I'm on the wrong airship. <laughs> I got on the ground plane. Anyways. I just saw that guy over there. Wait a second. Why are you taking the oh sh I gotta tell him. far gone by now i guess whatever wait i hope i'm not on the ground one this has to be the one right there i'm the right one So now we're doing Eye of the Beholder quest. This man is literally a beholder, FYI. Oh yeah, I was supposed to vote for a cat or something. I can't remember. You can do the bounty board one more time until 111. What secret that we have to vote? The problem is, uh, if you don't vote for one of them, oh, that he's the beholder, but you just saw him. We all saw him. Am I taking crazy pills here or what? We all saw him with our very own eyes. Don't worry, the world is about to find out. Yeah, maintenance is in uh, three and a half hours, 30 minutes. Yeah. So we have to beat the maintenance. We have to get to 100, beat the maintenance. By the way, wings, etc. How do I get? What do you mean, wings, etc.? There's all kinds of wings. There's butterfly wings, there's fly wings, the beginner fly wings, the visible fly wings, the costume wings from the uh, 20th anniversary. Well, actually, two wings. I do well. Three wings. I think about it's Beast of Boat Wing. Well, actually, Beast of Boat Wing and the uh, non-costume. What do you mean non-costume? They're only costume. 
Are you talking about the 20th anniversary ones, the butterfly wings, or? Is that what you're doing, Shizumi Dream? Oh, okay, because there's the 20... Have you done the 20th anniversary quest? That is a very good question. Have you done the 20th anniversary quest? Oh my god. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Do this, do this. You can do it with your rebellion easily. Do this quest right now. You're gonna get more EXP with this wings costume. You need more EXP out of your character. The right level to do that quest was around level 95 or so. Ninety-five trance is actually a very good spot to do so. I think you get to ninety-nine then, or you get very close to ninety-nine. Yeah, I think uh, his rebellion, so he still has to deal with the other monsters. It's probably better for him to go outside of Abyss Lake on the field and deal with the monsters there. Yeah, Arrow Shower and Archer Pendant. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for leveling characters like that. But what is the cost of the Archer Pendant, by the way? Well, he doesn't have greed. <laughs> so... Wow, 30 minutes is not that big of a price. It also depends on the monsters in the uh, in the low TI though. Cool, me? Like you're talking about me or are you talking about anyone in general? No, 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 I, no, the, the way I'm doing this is I'm doing it as basic as possible. I want to turn these into, um, leveling, uh, contents for people. I've been doing all the classes. I think I only have, uh, Maestro, Geneticist, Ninja, and Type 1 Master left, and I'm done with all the classes, 1 to 100. Yeah, actually. We have all of these. I've done the streams in the past month, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's been working pretty well for a lot of people. A lot of people are getting into it and uh, they say it works. The summary method works. Some classes though, I do think you're better off, you know, leveling them differently, but... I think you're probably better off leeching with a smoky clip and uh, bowling bash uh, Lord Knight, honestly. At least for Gramps, you can do that. Million is quite a bit for me, actually. 
But for a new character, for a new player, kind of is a bit steep, actually. Va bien, fíjate, ya terminamos lo que es el leveling. Ahora estamos haciendo los quests. Terminamos los quests. Los entregamos con un battle manual y pum, creo que estamos 99. How much is a bow guardian card though? That's still kind of steep for a new player, though. <laughs> Go back to the sanctuary. Hmm. That's not bad, but... You know, I think my personal opinion, my personal take, if you had that much Zenny, you're better off buying syrups because the, the skill melody strike does enough damage for you to kill monsters very fast. Super easy to spam, decent damage. And you can just spam it. It's just simple. And then over here, once you do the eating group leveling quest, you don't have to do any more leveling past that. Some classes benefit from certain cards. Even okay, let me give you a better example. Yet, a lot of people say, yeah, but but the point is, if people want to make a character as a first class, you know, they want to know where to level, where to go. Uh, one of the biggest problems that people have is not knowing where to go with the character or how to level them. And sometimes a lot of people rely too much on items that they start doing other stuff instead of just leveling when the character is ca capable of leveling. There are some exceptions though. Let me give you an example. A lot of people say that uh, Sword Guardian card is really good for uh, knights. My problem with that statement is your Bowling Bash Knights no, no, no. I, I know it's OP, but it's, I'm giving an example in regards to not needing a card or people thinking that you need a card for certain things. So if you get the bowling, if you get the sword garden card, I mean, you're not going to be doing all that much more damage that you need to. You're already going to be killing monsters in groups of four. You're going to be killing those monsters nonetheless. So you don't need all that much more damage because bowling bash just does well with eating group weapon and wherever you go. Maybe it would help if you want to get started on Magma earlier, but the monsters in Magma Dungeon don't give fully XP until you're level 89-ish or so, but then Nightmare Terrors require you to be level 92 to get fully XP from them because you're level 107. So you don't get fully XP from them. So, but then you can also level up at Grams, but most of the monsters in Grams don't go past level 100. And monsters with level, below, level 100 and below tend to have less than 12,000 HP. And bowling bash with four monsters does at least maybe I don't know, like maybe like fourteen, I think like fourteen thousand damage or something like that. Something ridiculous. Gunslinger, no, I, I think yeah, gunslinger is fast. Rebellion is faster. Gunslinger requires a huge investment to actually be able to pull that off, though. That's the thing. If you have a Lord Knight level ninety nine seventy, the Lord Knight can just bowling bash Gramps with ease. Not Gramps himself, but you know, the monsters in Gramps. Because I'm pretty sure the Gunslingers, you're, you're probably telling me, oh, but you need a Katarina Von Blood or something like that. I can already imagine. A lot of people tell me Katarina Von Blood. So it kind of goes, you know, just kind of have that in mind already.
Yeah, I'm going to condense them down and put them on YouTube. And then I'm going to condense the full game place down even further because there's a lot of breaks in between. So. This is good enough. funny though because you have to go back to Niflheim you have to fight the uh, gibbets thirty gibbets here we go So we're going to use mostly Holy Errors for this one. And that should be good enough. Yeah, I already did that one. But yeah, you can also do it here. I did it ahead of time just, you know, because I was doing, I was, you know, in the group of doing the eating group quest first. So you can also, you can put them together, I guess. But I like to focus on one thing at a time. I think the gibbets are in this map actually now that I think about it but it's but it's already done though complete Now we also need a cursed ruby, so if you can pick up a cursed ruby, that would be great. Oh, you can do them at the same time. You can do them at the oh cursed ruby. I just did it ahead of time because I didn't want to think about both quests. I just wanted to do one thing at a time. Since I was focusing on just getting the, the quest done first, the uh, eating group leveling stuff, I left that for later. So, but you can do it though. You can put them together. Si puedes. No más que no me da ganas de hacer eso. Porque gibbets are in this map and disguises are in the other map.
Oh, I wanted that gibbet over there. Okay. Too much damage. Encore, encore. I guess people are really farming those cookies, huh? The dailies make life a lot easier in terms of uh, leveling by a long shot. I mean, it's the dailies there are the greatest thing that was ever added to that part of the game. And you use the battle menu buff and you have VIP, it's even better EXP. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, get leveled up oh look at that landed in a nice lucky spot We go back to Nefelheim, we talk to Lausen. So I don't I don't really do the daily calendar, but I mean people know to log in daily. No, we're probably not gonna do that yeah to 
I don't know if I bought the 200 series. That's a lot. The problem is that there is a big slowdown between levels 160 to 180. Which again, it's not really entirely a problem. It's just very time consuming. And I don't know how much time I have for that. So I think it's more about getting what I can done that people need to see and turn that into video format. And then uh, we'll see about that later. Then again, the leveling to 200 would be essentially the same maps, really. Not a whole lot changes, you know that, right? Whatever the character can handle, up to 125, Lasagna Dungeon, all the way to 150, Turtle Dungeon, or Nightmare Clock Tower, or 17.2, all the way to 180, and then 180 onwards is Odin Temple and uh, Einbeck Dungeon. And you party with that, because you can't just handle it on your own. It's very, very difficult to solo all that. After 150, you start seeing a need for more equipment for more damage. So that's kind of the natural way, natural order of things with uh, with uh, the game itself in renewal. You are going to need to spike up your damage by a lot. And then a lot of gear farm. Some gear farm is required for that. There are people that do party up a lot and they can just level up like that. But then people are like, oh, but I can't find a party. What do I do? And it's just because a whole, you know, another set of problems there. There's, there's more benefit to me actually, you know, condensing the videos and put them at, putting them out and getting people to just, you know, watch the content and get the hang of it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the, um, well, not grab, but finish up the part of the quest by talking to the farmer here. I'm gonna be going to Umbala afterwards, so... Oh, nice spot. Back to Frontera. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a teleport to Umbala. that much longer we have this quest and maybe two other ones three other ones short ones and then we should be able to um maybe try to train them in i think i'm not exactly sure about training them in but uh we might be able to hit 99 from here i think maybe but uh, it's a it's a risk i'm willing to take because anyways we still have to farm that exp we do have some bounty boards that are almost completed so we can probably always go back to dark priest and get that done so that said let's just keep at it and uh we'll see where we go from here down where I was supposed to go. Yeah, I was supposed to go down. Whoops.
Oh, we have uh, two hours and 50 minutes before the maintenance begins. Two options you can either walk back out of here or you can just go back to town and uh you know go to the eating group and talk to the uh and yeah oh i need white pushes for this part of the quest I, I don't know. I haven't done it, but people say it does give something good. Look, it's Anguks. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. People do buy those, so. All right, so I'm going to talk to him, give him a potion. I'm going to go all the way over here to stay away from the monsters. Oh, the first potion worked. Great. Have to go talk to the witch. Nice teleports. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not keeping them. I for the series, I'm not using them, and I'm not putting stuff into my uh, main inventory. I'm just here to get the quest done, show the leveling process, avoid the seasonal stuff, and that's it. The seasonal stuff is separate from what I'm doing here. Gotta go around and you can just talk to the gravestone from here. We are back up. And it says we will have to kill this just to make it easier for us. Oh. If you relog, you lose the song, so you can't encore. Inside one of the buildings. the witch again now we got to go to the bridge
And then one of these bridges, the last one we have to go to. And then after that, we are good to go to talk to the witch one last time. We go to the um, lost spirit. Oh, there we go. Very nice teleport. We go back to the lost spirits and that's it. And we also need to get ourselves five poisonous powders and another ectoplasm. Now we got to go back to the spirits in Mbala. We turn that in and that's it. I guess if you do the Halloween quest, you can probably do so. Oh wait, did you make a Busher character or, or what was it? Uh, Pat Bali. Here's the event details for the Halloween events. Criminal Acts, uh, Lost Spirits, and Idle Beholder are the main quests that you want to do. The other ones that I'm going to be doing afterwards are extras to actually get myself into the uh, level 99 range. So just, you know, be patient with me uh, as I go over this, just explain how it works, what I'm doing. And yeah. I don't know. If you look at the uh, if you look at the events guide right there, it says that the the costume increases the chance. It adds one percent chance of getting the candy. So there's that. So now you're done with this part of the quest, which is um, interrupted by the masked man. After that, we turn in the quest at the end, but we're not going to turn in just yet. We're going to do the other quest for the time being. 
now we have eye of helion quest it's another uh, popular one this is not an ira exclusive this is just in renewal in general so we're going to be doing this the one so yeah bottom right go find the dummy over here go to the item shop now that's a lot of shadow gear being sold in the market that's kind of nice go back top right when to talk to the guy tell him only a little bit So we're going to be heading back to Morak. I'm going to go to Payon. Once you do the quest, you kind of get the hang of it. You know where to go and all that stuff, so... I'm well aware. <laughs> Just joking, I know, I get it, don't worry. Rush faster? Oh, wow. I, here I was trying to be nice, but okay. Better fly wing. Nice. Don't spam enter here. You have to read the options. I won't kill, but we'll find a way to live. Yep, there we go. Back to Morak we go.
We're gonna go to Geffen. We're gonna save at Geffen real quick because we have to come back down the tower anyway, so. When you talk to this guy, be nice to him. Otherwise, he makes you go get him a white potion or something. Go up the tower. Get ready for it because you're going to be going up twice. Gonna go back out i'm gonna talk to the guy again he'd be like haha yeah i have the book fyi all right so we're gonna go back to the tower we're gonna go back up again We're gonna leave. We're gonna go to the. I'm gonna go pick up one blue gemstone because they need one blue gemstone. to give him the answer i don't know how you would know this but yeah here's the answer i'll go back to morak real quick and morak is so quiet Bifrost Tower level 1, 2, and 3 and Payon Dungeon are the smallest maps that I can think of. Bifrost. Five by five map. Really now. Go on, Rune.
You cannot fly when here, so you have to walk around. Oh, there's the revenant. Cool. All right, so you're done with this quest. We have the Eye of Helion. You don't turn this in. You don't turn this in just yet. You're going to be doing another quest. We're now doing a monster dungeon entrance quest. Very nice. But yeah, which which uh Bifrost Bifrost Tower always has the event mobs. I've always seen it with event mobs for the most part, so go back outside the house we're gonna to talk to the kid twice and then we're gonna be going to the north map Like, I'm farming Hydro Card. So, the last step here will be to talk to the Lord. Right, so, here's the trick if you talk to her and it doesn't succeed, you're gonna get kicked out. So, you have to open up your character select. Oh, it actually worked. Well, you don't have to do anything else other than that. You talk to the grandma and that's it. You're done with this quest. Congratulations. You've done it. Uh, up next on the list, we have uh, Cautious Village. So we're going to go ahead and do Cautious Village quest. People sell them in the market. You can pretty much get everything in the market for the most part. So you'll pay a good price for it, though. You have to pay a pretty penny or you can make your own. Um, you can make your own Aqualite and use Aqua Benedicta and yeah but other than that you're gonna be paying for maybe paying pr pretty penny for this Oof. i'm doing it because i just gotta get this done before the time's up and you know just for the sake of showing that people do sell stuff in the market but i do give you the alternative so all 
All right, so we are we got the items we need. Let's head on over to Alberta. And after that, we have the Lover's Quest and Brasilis Dungeon Entrance Quest. We might hit 99, but we might be off by just a little bit of the XP to get to 100. So but we do have the uh, Dark Priest Bandit we're working on. So. So for the cautious village that I link it already, you have to talk to this guy first. You have to go all the way up north, top center. Several NPCs. Talk to a two dealer. One guy set up by the port. You're gonna talk to the blacksmith by the weapons shop. You're gonna talk to these two and the old man I just spoke to right now. Here, talk to this guy. Talk to the blacksmith over here. Blacksmith old lady. It's up further up. Ask advice from point. Yeah, you need to talk to five NPCs. You have to talk to all six of them. But you have the option to talk to the sailor, so there's that. We're like so close. I want to land right there. Can I land right there? Just like, there you go. Very nice. All right, cool. I guess you have to give it to everyone though. So maybe a bypass in regards when he speaks five, six, uh, deliver to all six. Yeah. You have to deliver to all six. We have the tool dealer, the sailor, and the blacksmith. Oh, we landed near the blacksmith. Let's go up, talk to the blacksmith. Remember the last step, you're going to save the last step for the EXP training with the battle manual. You have to talk to the sailor as well, so. I think uh, two more. I think I have the Brasilis entrance quest. Let me see. Brasilis entrance quest. And then the uh, murder mystery, lover's quest, and that's it. Lover's quest is literally like three steps, so. Back to Pedro. And I think that's about it. All right. So the last step is done, but we, we need to do the last step and that's it. So now we are going to go ahead and do lover's quest because we are going to be popping the battle menu when we are at, uh, you know, before the last step of the, um, 
the step where you get the exp from brody in the murder mystery quest so i'm gonna start off with the uh, lover's quest first and then we're gonna do brisilla's dungeon entrance quest followed by murder mystery pop the battle manual and then go off and turn everything in and see where we're left off with We're now doing Lover's Quest, but we're only doing up to step three. Well, we're going to leave off step three to the end. So it's not easy to travel towards this place. So all of these quests should get us to level 99. It's not going to get us to level 100. If you want to get level 100, you got to do this at level 94. But, you know, we still have the... As long as you get to 99, 70, you can change to third class. Sorry, yeah, third class. And then from there, we can uh, just get job EXP and get some of the skills. So once we pop the battle manual at the uh, Brasilis murder mystery quest, we're going to start turning everything in after that. I'm going to pop it when I get some quests done. Part of the quest done, get some EXP, get more EXP. And then turn everything in in order. And hopefully we should have enough EXP to be 99. We should be 99. Which in the grand scheme of things, it actually lets me skip... Uh, the vast majority of leveling once you get to level 86 you turn in the eating group leveling quest with the battle manual that you have and then you can just wait till the next day or you can start working on the quest and come back the next day and uh you know turn everything in with a battle manual buff you get 1.75 million exp from the eating group leveling quest 91 to 99 keep in mind that if the eating group leveling quest 91 to 99 did not exist you can still level up a dark priest you can still level up at magma dungeon if you have the capacity to do so so this is just an option if you are playing solo you can't really manage to get exp and uh, you're struggling at the very least to level 93 you don't have to suffer as much just a little bit not as much i go to the airport when i talk to the girl and there's gonna be the one step before the end before we uh have to you know before we turn it in so consider this done at this point the last step is to talk to the guy at the uh, in Einbeck so all right so we're done with this part of the quest now we're going to start moving on to uh Brasilia's dungeon entrance quest we're going to turn this one in completely and then Brazilian murder mystery will be the last one Brazilian the last place we have to go coconut oh let's buy a few because apparently it's uh it's random chance we'll see how random it is but yeah talk to the kids you have to go to the museum oh yeah i know it, it'll take a few hours early on because merchant the single target and they have that disadvantage with no actual you know damage skills that you can spam 
until you get to cart cat uh cart revolution right but you should be fine i'll let you know mechanic dust i mean sorry uh blacksmith does take a while but mechanic action nato is very rewarding I need to use the bathroom. I forgot to inside. It's such a hot day. Okay. So now you guys follow instructions. You have to say the word. Mother one door will open. You have to turn the key seven times. Ah. Turn the key. Then you have to talk to the toilet. Mother water is flooding. Flush the toilet three times. Carpet, examine it. Mother, the drought has started. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, the faucet, the faucet, the faucet, not the carpet. Turn on the water on time. I was like, what? Well, the carpet would be dry. I mean, that makes sense, right? Check the carpet seven times. Mirror, examine it. All right, now it's gonna roll a die. If you get the higher number, you uh, you pretty much win. Damn. All right. You have to redo the whole thing. If you don't get it, you have to redo. Oh crap! I. I beat you level 99 by the way. What do you mean you beat me? What do you do? Oh my god, I have to do all these steps all over again. What were you leveling a bard as well or what's up? Y así con esas cuestiones es más rápido que matando bichos. Sí, yo creo que sí, creo. Porque la experiencia que se requiere es muy alta. Y. Y es más fácil que matar monstruos. A mí se me hace más fácil que matar monstruos. Te ahorras muchos Jenny en las pócimas que usas. 
Y los manuales que te dan son gratis Y sigues los pasos que, que le di a la gente Puedes subir Creo que aquí subes a 99 Pues nomás esto Let me win the dice roll. Let me win the dice roll. Ah, oh, crap. I lost it again. Crap, again. I've been luckier. Yesterday, well, two days ago, I got this in the first try, so... Uno de los, uno, los quests no he tomado tiempo los quests me dio tomar tiempo porque nomás me ando apresurando pero creo que es más rápido hacer esto que matar monstruos creo que matando monstruos te toma más de 6 horas de 95 a 99 y aquí pues creo que son 4 horas o 3 horas de puros quests y no está muy difícil está muy fácil nomás que uno de los quests toma más tiempo que el otro Los Spirits Quest toma más tiempo. Jeez. It's another failure on my part. That's the fourth try here. But you get better each time you do it. You know, typical RNG stuff. Brasilis, uh, Brasilis city. When you do the murder mystery quest, you have to slow down. Because, you know, if you screw up part of the quest and you uh, turn it in ahead of time, you, uh, not turn it in, but you choose the wrong option, you're going to be forced to end the quest. Then you get some EXP, but not all the EXP you can get. 
Let this be the one, please. Let this be the one. Wow. Better be the one. Finally, finally. All right, so we're gonna be getting EXP without a uh, you know battle menu here, but that's fine. that all right so we're done with this now we're gonna start doing the brazilian murder mystery quest which is literally a spoof of uh scooby-doo i wish i was joking but that's really the truth that's really what it is Zero HP and zero SP. Look at that. If someone sneezes on me, I die, basically. Priscilla's murder mystery quest has to be done very cautiously. If you spam enter, you're going to get an option that's going to be the wrong one, and you effectively turn in the quest and miss out on a lot of EXP. So. I go to the Brasilis Hotel now. We over here, by the way. That's the inn over there. We have an hour and a half to complete all of this. Go, go back to museum. I'll go back down. We're going to go talk to the NPC, the curator museum. And uh, yeah. I'm going to just fly away for the sake of hoping we get there faster. Hopefully it won't take more than another five. Oh, well, this is good enough. Kind of.
so we've done this quest before so we have an idea of where to go what to do what to expect question about his relationship with the victim I think this is a part where we talk to Mr. Uh... Hmm. I guess we do have to talk to use the other options. And they tell us to talk um, talk to Mr. Her Red Heron. So I'll talk to Red Heron. You talk to Adrian and you have to be very careful here. Do not just spam enter, read the options. You have to answer no. Because if you say yes, you're gonna answer you're gonna receive some EXP and that's gonna be the end of the quest. And that's not what you want. You wanna keep going. Is the security guard the one who murdered Mr. Moneybags? No. Return to Mrs. Moneybags again. No, no, no. This is from, uh, this is from Brasilia's dungeon entrance quest. Go back to the museum. You talk to Doggy Doo. That's literally his name. The part where you where you uh after you do the investigation and you talk to brody that's where you have to use the battle manual before because if you said after you're gonna miss out on uh 250 000 exp so 250 000 exp with the battle manual buff is actually what you want Yeah, I already have everything planned out. It doesn't matter which order you go in because you get the EXP in chunks, but you want to turn in the uh, Eye of Helion in the later parts because Eye of Helion is worth a lot more EXP. You cannot multi-level, so it should be one of the last ones. But all the other quests give you the EXP in chunks, so you're not, you don't have a chance of multi-leveling. However, it's probably best to turn the Eating Group leveling quest first because you provide uh, smaller EXP. And then the larger chunks can just be, you know, turned in at the end. So, and even if you bank on EXP, that's good because level 99 to 100 is not exactly likely. Uh, you might still be missing some EXP, so it's okay to bank on EXP. And then we're going to go back to Dark uh, Priest. We still have a Dark Priest uh, bounty board to complete. So that should be good enough for us. Talk to Doggy Doo. Let's grab a secret passage. 
as the head curator about the passage and he tells you the next to the mansion now he's to break down we have to break into a house now Right now that you're in, you have to follow the instructions carefully. Of course, placeholder music. As I tell where the book is, when you go for the table again. Take the key. Alden808, thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. Now you're gonna go pick up the lantern. Just over here, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Find the passage. Get up to the skull on the wall. You fell in. If you landed on, if you got the keys from the table, you want 2988. Yeah, we got 2988. Uh, click on the flags in the correct order and you'll be moved to the next area. All right, so you have to do the. There you go. You got the key from the bookcase. You want that. Uh, okay, you have to go to the room upstairs. You have to be very careful here. I got Gajamart spawns. You don't want to dodge with the Gajamart. You have to be very careful when you select the thing. Oh, there's already a. Uh, Okay, that's kind of spooky. Okay. Talk to the dresser. And then that of the kind of lab. Wait, what? Here we have the matchstick, okay? You attack by a Gajamart and you select the other one and the secret passage pops up. Okay, cool. You go up to the piano, you play the first four keys. You have to go this one because you have to go into the options, character select, relog. I know it's really weird, right? And then you talk to the statue. And now you're back at the museum. You talk to La you talk to Laggy. Now this is the part we have to be careful. You talk to Laggy, and you say it wasn't him. You'll be sent to talk to Mrs. Moneybags. So you have to say it wasn't him. Talk to Laggy. 
carefully, carefully. It wasn't him. Talk to Mrs. Moneybags. And after you talk to Mrs. Moneybags, that's where you're going to be getting the EXP when you talk to Brody. And that's where the boy popped the battle menu before then. We finished Priscilla's murder mystery and we just keep running out. We keep running out the door. We just keep going at it. So this is the part where we're going to start turning everything in. So now, now that I made it to 200, what to do now besides from Zenny? Well, you can do instances. You can do episode 17.2 dailies. You can try to gear up your character better to do more than, uh, you know, level 200 and pass. You can continue doing the I'm back Odin Temple level four and Abyss Lakes dailies on your character to level up daily if you want. Do, you can do the events. All right, so this is the point where we're going to pop the battle menu. But before we do that, I'm going to go to the restroom because I drank a lot of water today. And I'll be right back, okay? Just give me a few minutes real quick.
All right, guys. Who's ready to do some magic? The craziest EXP you'll ever see on stream. Man. I wish Vividort was here to see this. Vividort really, uh, really came in through to help me uh, perfect this. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we have multiple quests. We have the entirety of the Eden Group leveling quest completed. All of these quests are worth 1.75 million EXP. We have done the Brazilian Dungeon Entrance quest, which is 135,000 EXP at current rate. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have done the... Actually, it's 2.5 here. Yeah. Huh. We have done the Brasilis Murder Mystery quest. We are about to turn it in. We have done the Lover's quest. We're about to turn it in. The only quest... Uh, yeah, no, it, it takes longer to level up of variety XP and bounty boards. Believe it or not. Uh, the, some classes may actually take longer to level up and it's easier for them to do the... Uh, we might have to work on that one. But yeah, so long story short, we have done Eye of Helion, Criminal Activities, Eye of Beholder, Lost Spirits, Cautious Village, Amatsu Dungeon Entrance Quest, Lover's Quest, and Brasilis Murder Mystery Quest. We're going to be training all of this in. We're currently level... Seven, uh, we're level 93 with 17.8% EXP. Whatever that li lies on the chart. We need a lot of EXP to get there. Job levels will be covered by the Eating Grip Leveling Quest. No problem. And yeah, here we go. So we're going to pop the battle menu. We're going to finish Brazilian Murder Mystery. We're going to see all the experience we're going to get here. And we'll move on from there. We'll turn this one in first. We're going to go to the eating group. And then we're going to come back to the rest of the quest. Here we go. Old battle manual. Time start. 30 minutes. And then right here in this part. You say it was the head curator. No, no. no, 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 no confront him. There's no doubt. No, it was Mrs. No, 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 no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. It was Mr. It was the head curator. There's no doubt head curator. Okay, cool. And then once you talk to the head curator, you're going to get the EXP. Six hundred twenty-five thousand EXP. Not bad. Oh, you have to chase him around until you see him. So, this is like like Scooby Doo. Yeah, I know, missed opportunity. I know, but we are running out of time. You have to run around in circles, just like the. Uh, just like the cartoon, which is actually pretty genius. Whoever made this quest did a really good job with that part. And this is the last run, and then we have to go out to the Brasilis field and then come back in. I think that's it, right? Yeah, we have to go to the Brazilian field now. The funny thing is, even if we get to level 99, we still have to try to get to 100. So I'm glad I started one hour earlier because if I had done this later, we would have been pressed for time to actually finish, so... to land on the right side over here. I 
Oh, bear. Why would you? Why would you? One hand only. Just use one hand. Focus. You just landed right there. Ooh, I'm losing time. That was a bad move and this is going to be costly. This is good enough. Oh, that's, this is even worse. <laughs> Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and that dog. Okay, cool. Now the difficult part is getting out of here. What well, wasn't that bad actually? Crap, crap, not stone curse, not stone curse. Break it, break it, break it. There we go, thank you. to the museum talk to brody and those need to mrs moneybags and mrs moneybags will give you the rest of the exp that you are owed which is another 625,000 exp from what i understand and then we can go on turn in the rest of the quest how unfortunate that we have to turn pop the battle manual before then So we're going to go back to this is money bags. We're going to get our EXP. We're going to run to the eating group and then we're going to run to the rest of the quest that we need to turn in. Starting with criminal activities or we can do a master dungeon quest as well. Whatever's quest is also a choice. We have options. We have options. So we got another 625,000. 44 point. Oh, yeah, very nice. All right, so we're done here. So we're going to go ahead and train the eating group leveling quest. Go ahead and train everything in. So we're currently 71.9 and 62. Okay. We got that out of the way. Very nice EXP. We're going to go to Amatsu Dungeon. We're going to walk out. I'm going to go talk to the uh, guy there. Does any of this matter at this point? Race against time. Got to beat the timer. Twenty nine point nine to forty six point two is not bad. Go to Alberta real quick. Let's go to train in the cautious village.
probably should, right? Six point two to sixty two. Let me go to Prontera real quick. We're going to save in Juno. Do Einbrock first. Main station. Yes. Train station. Thousand EXP. Butterfly flowing back. I'm gonna go to Rachel. So now we gotta go up to the benches in the north area by the sanctuary if we get to 99 we can probably use the rest of the battle manual to uh, kill dark priests and get some job exp as well we're close enough as it is so and turning in criminal activities and i of beholder sorry criminal activities i of helion and lost spirits is not difficult it's very close by 78.8% Turning the quest I found your downstairs and now we got uh, 1.25 million EXP look at that Don't wait lovers out of the beholder we're gonna go to is now we're gonna turn in the The one um, criminal activities quest. It's an edgy up NPC. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares with the Cyclops. There's no one, but it's que no no le puedo nada. Yo no lo puedo cambiar. Pay fifty any for the increased edgy up. No problem. This is criminal activity with the earlier. A whole lot of EXP here as well. So. Turn in Eye of Helion. I think Eye of Helion is okay to turn in. 1.2 times 2.5 is 3. 96 to yeah yeah we're good for that one let's go to morak first god thanks for the follow hope you join the stream Million XP. 
we're gonna head on over to Niflheim. We're gonna talk to those guys and me va bien, me va bien. And I think we're gonna be heading on back to uh, Prontera to do the job change quest after this. So let me just be sure I drop us some uh, some heavy stuff. with 90 percent Ooh, okay so i figure out what percent we start with 17 percent right so i think as long as you're level 93 with 50 percent it's the most convenient for you to do that so close so close but look it's level 98 we have a bounty board almost completed here so we turn that in we still have access to our fly wings, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna get some quick levels here. We should be able to get level uh, 99 from here. Maybe we should, be, we should even be able to get uh, the bounty board completed for the next round, so... max power so we can get our quest done out of the way oh yeah we also have the uh those eating group leveling quests we didn't turn in because uh, we picked it up again afterwards i'm glad i woke up an hour earlier and started an hour earlier i'm very glad i did Point, you get like what point one you get like point one five percent per kill with these guys now it's so minimal now it's not exactly uh you know as good as it was when you were level 98 as uh you know pre rebirth so oh yeah it, it it wasn't as it wasn't as good it takes too long oh wait it can be interrupted as well so not really down with that Can't do this with Vulcan Arrow, so Vulcan Arrow was just for testing. Didn't pass the vibe check. skip uh, like what level 93 all the way to 98 that's actually pretty cool honestly it's pretty rad imagine having to do this for entirety of level 98 spamming like this the whole time yeah it kind of beats that actually
Uh, I don't know. Probably. Already dead, anyways. Just Ryan. Look at Ryan go getting that Dark Lord. Let's get out of here. Oh, I have some, I have some SP to use. So we'll go ahead and use up our SP first before we uh, keep going. Yeah, it got me. It got. I did it from level 93 with 17 percent or something like that, I think. And it got me to 98 with like 90 percent. So if you do it at level 93 with uh, you know 50 uh, percent, you get to 99. Just 99 though. You don't get level 100. We still have time in the battle match. We're going to take advantage of the SP that we got. We're going to just hit level 100 here. Or well, 99. No, I turn in the Eden quest. Unless you mean the Eden group equipment quest, but that's already, uh, you know, too far out. This is faster. There we go. 99. Look at that. Beautiful. Go to Prontel real quick. Let's go change to third class. You, I don't know about the points here. I know you just trust me on this one. You will be using some of these skills. But to what extent? I don't know. Just uh, trust me on this one. Just uh, you can reset later. What matters that we're doing the battle menu thing right now. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A bounty board, and maybe we can complete another bounty board in the time. Like bounty board. Oh, wow, very close to 99. Look at that. Very close to 100. So, yeah, so one bounty board, even if you don't get to 100. This would be good enough because the EXP table changes at that point. I will be cutting it up though. Like, no kidding. I'm going to be cutting up parts of it and just posting what's, uh, what's relevant, but. Level 100. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to Prontera. That was the goal. We, we reached our goal. So we have our weapon voucher, blah, blah, blah. Booster weapon. First of all, we're going to read the booster weapon. You have a booster guitar. So booster guitar is your weapon of choice. That's what you're going to go with. So there's two options. If you equip the elemental booster set, you get reverberation damage increase. If you get the range booster set, you get more damage with severe range storm and reduce the skill cooldown by two seconds. And you use the tissue concentrate, increase the damage of your severe range storm by 20% for 60 seconds. So I am going to tell you the truth. I am not entirely super well versed with, uh, with my astro. But before we get into that, remember each booster weapon is associated to one class, two handed sword to the Rune Knight, booster axe to the mechanic, the Katar to the guillotine cross, the booster staff to the warlock, the booster maw to the archbishop, the booster bow to the ranger, the booster spear to the royal guard, the booster sword to the geneticist sword. Hello sword. And then you have the booster spell book, you have the booster knuckle, you have the booster guitar. Of course, booster spell book is for the sorcerer, booster dagger is for shadow chaser, booster knuckle is for the sura, booster whip is for the wanderer, booster nindo is for the ninjas, uh, uh, booster galling gun is for the rebel, and booster foxtail. I mean, I don't even know what we have there. So, booster guitar is your item of choice. 
and yeah so no police equipment that, that's the other thing i want to talk about so you look at skill severe rainstorm you're gonna see that the skill has a fixed casting time portion to it i think axe mastery works yeah axe mastery just work with source so uh, there's a catch here you can get the you can get the no police equipment for 0 0.5 second fixed casting reduction that goes a really long way i'm gonna choose to go with severe rainstorm as my skill of choice i think it's the easier build to go into i don't know if that river of river I don't know if reverberation would be easier. But I find the range one to be simple enough. The skill itself, it's simple. You go out, you cast it, you just walk around. The monsters will die in it. So it is also very likely that reverberation, re <laughs> rever reverberation may have a higher equipment requirement. But when you look at the booster gear, at least for the ring set, it's you're gonna be dealing range damage you don't have to worry about anything magical magical attack and all that stuff boosted you know always it's always expensive it's never cheap to get those options you know uh sorted out and done so i opt for the um range booster set with the booster guitar for more damage with the um severe rainstorm so that would be my choice you can choose whatever you want but people are saying that it's probably more expensive so yeah So we're going to go ahead and go with the range booster. When I open it up, you have to identify it. Now there's one thing though. Severe rainstorm has a fixed casting time. You can reduce this easily with the noblesse equipment. Yeah, but the booster one itself is cheap. I mean, the booster, the, 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 the skill itself is not very difficult to use the equipment deal will deal a certain amount of damage i mean like i said i'm not super well versed with that but i've seen severe rainstorm it seems to work well monster you have to kite monsters around you're gonna be doing that in certain places but if you get the noblesse equipment you're gonna get rid of the 0 0.5 second fixed casting time which will be in the way 0 0.5 seconds is i'm gonna say it's gonna sound funny but it's half a, it's half a mississippi and yeah 